Nigga never hit. Yeah, that one hit crazy. That was wild, wild. He actually got in here on time. No, that was the second one. I had to. This so nigga can't never get in here on time. Yeah. Fuck it, Craig. And when you do, I don't be ready for it. I'm never ready. For anything. I'm never ready, but I'm always on time. You heard? Uh, I be late a lot to some shit. Yeah, no, I be, I be punctually late. Sometimes you showing up late on purpose. Just to assert your dominance. <laughs> nigga yeah. show up to the interview late. You reach out to shake hands. How you doing? And they can just do like a head wave. Like, no, nah, I don't do those. <laughs> <laughs> no. Have a seat. Let's get this start. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. No, nah, let's just have a seat. Let's get to it. And he just, um, okay, well, your interview will be right. But, oh, you're not the interviewer? Look, I got 10 more minutes before he get out here. <laughs> I feel like they that would be know some... what to do. Yeah, no, that would be. You got to hire a man that sits you down and interviews you. He's like, yo, I've been waiting 15 minutes. If y'all not going to interview me, I'm going to go home. Like, what is, what is this? Y'all running a business out here? Like, You just got to be the alpha. Nigga, nigga speak like he work here already. Like, yo, yo so where is Janet at? Why is she not clocked in yet? It's 3.30. She was supposed to be clocked in at 3. You just Everybody else is looking around like, how does he know who Janet is? Has how he she, worked here before? How, is he how she, know she always late. <laughs> Man. Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, other sentient kin, creatures, yeah, sentient, otherworldly beings that know the language. Oh, I was thinking, welcome like animals, otherworldly beings. Yeah, I'm like a pinhead listening to something. No, I'm not talking to that nigga. I don't want that nigga anywhere near me. You ain't got no choice. If he want to talk to you, boy, y'all having a convo. You literally do have a choice. You just don't. Mess with the lament configuration. Yeah, and then what? What happened when you don't mess with it? And what you got to deal with? What you got to live with after that? Hmm? My normal everyday life. And you fine with that? <laughs> no, you might have just got me there. <laughs> he said, is that really what you want? He said, oh, shit. I don't know, man. Entering a dimension of infinite pleasure? That do sound like worth the risk, you know? He said, but, but, but. Is it like my version of pleasure or like his version? Cause like, what if I get there and like, it's not my pleasure? You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas playing mad games, but it ain't no games I like. It's definitely his version of pleasure, and his version of pleasure is uh, playing the skin off of sinners. Niggas will toss toss you the flare, like, all right, go ahead. You like, oh, I'm just like me. I'm supposed to be doing it myself. You sure you, you sure y'all don't want to just do it and I can maybe just that's hang like that. even more sadistic. Like that would drink be or something. Then you're like getting mentally tortured too. Like uh, they gonna make me cut my own balls off. No, nah, don't worry, you won't feel it. Okay, but I'm <laughs> I'm cutting my balls off it's just with a rusty damaging. troweler. A rusty troweler. Nah, they gave me a straight edged blade, nigga. They said you figure it out. Oh, what if they uh, bolt cutters? Oh, ah! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god! And they rusty too. They kind of jagged. And they made sure they removed all of the tetanus antibodies from your vaccine or from your body. How did you need to get a tetanus shot? I feel like I'm in dangerous need of a tetanus shot. You better, you, nigga, you better stay away from some rusty nails, boy. It's not like I'm going out looking for rusty nails. <laughs> not who does go out looking for rusty nails and they always catch you somehow anyway. Tetanus shots last like what ten years? Something nutty. I think I got one like maybe I like got four one, or five years ago. I got one freshman year of college in 2011. So I, if it's ten years, I I'm mean, bro, you coming up on that date. It's tetanus, bro. Like for the most part, you straight, bro. Just don't Te you know. tetanus. No, what? You know, sure. No, I no, I know when you get hit. Like, oh, yes, I know. It's like rabies, right? When you get it, nigga, you got it, and yeah, it's a real problem. But like, nigga, you're not getting tetanus. Relax. What if I step on a rusty nail? Then die. Then perish. I don't, I don't like the op the options. Are either don't get it or get it. I would prefer not to get it. But aren't those always the options? <laughs> uh, that, that nail gonna make you D word. <laughs> D word. 
Somebody was, said that shit the other day on Tumblr or on Twitter. They was like, yo, I need wait. I, I'm just so sick of some of y'all. I need some of y'all to D word. And I was crying because I was like, D word. Some of y'all. These are... sites, like, uh, especially. And I was TikTok. really thinking about it. Like, D word. What, you... what is it? Oh, die. Oh. <laughs> These right. sites are getting crazy with this uh, censorship. Well, not censorship, but like, what is it, like over policing over words and videos? Mm-hmm. Like niggas all on TikTok got to say shit like problem. unalive instead yeah, of unalive. Got... <laughs> Yo, that nigga got unalived. That shit yeah, sounds was, hilarious. It was a brutal unalive, man. Wow, a crazy. brutal unaliving. <laughs> a brutal D word. <laughs> <laughs> I think TikTok. Uh, does favoritism obviously like most apps but like a lot of the big creators be saying shit oh yeah yeah that like yeah, i post a video it work. say nigga in it and the video gets banned and taken down yeah, whoa buddy but i be scrolling through the for you pages i hear nigga like every other video so it's just me i guess i guess we'll never know <laughs> Nah, it is. It is just you. It's 100% just you. Well, not just you, but it's 100% it's niggas you, like you. It's because my reputation precedes myself. So mm-hmm. when I got to TikTok, they were like, that's that nigga from Tumblr and Twitter? Oh, no. Nah, start sending him you, immediately. As soon as you signed up for a TikTok, a nigga ran into the control room and was like, sir, the, sir, the coming quencher, he's, he's on he's on the way. And the captain's like, I, I know. We've already got it. It's the Riley Free... Niggas coming. <laughs> they said, is that it's the coming quencher? The man of legend. I just got banned on Twitter uh like two days ago. <laughs> All right, what'd you do? Uh somebody said some wild shit about cartoons. They said like uh the misadventures of Flapjack and Chowder and uh mm-hmm. and Ed and Nettie wasn't that good. Yeah, I saw that post. That was a and I said stone this nigga and I got banned for twelve hours. Yeah, bro. See, that's why you gotta. That's why nigga do the unalive talk. I didn't even say kill. I said stone. Oh, I'm sorry. Do niggas live through stonings? <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? I'm, like I'm sorry. You're throwing heavy, medium sized rocks at me. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's that's unaliving niggas. Every stoning in history, there's had to be thousands of them. Uh, somebody had to survive. All right, if that's the case, then that means a, a, a death row is the same thing, right? Or, or sorry, D row. <laughs> this is YouTube. They don't care. You can talk about dying all the time. A D row. D row. Is that a, a <laughs> new type of sushi? Like a salmon roll? They say, yeah, let me get a D row. Um, none of the none of the the sauce that y'all put on it. I don't want the sauce. You, you said the sun that. is the sun is part of the D row. I I don't want the sauce on it. So it's not even a D row. This is a totally said, different meal just now. Get me a cheeseburger with no cheese. What's so hard about it? <laughs> Bro, just order a burger. No, I want the cheeseburger. Said, okay, okay. The cheeseburger is twenty six cents more. Do you understand why I'm trying to get you? So it's about what you want, huh? Because I thought I was the customer, and I thought when I came to a place to order food, you just all right. Cheeseburger, no cheese. No, I got it. You know what? I'm marking it up. Yeah, <laughs> where that's just, he's, he's he, nigga he, wanted additional cheese. He cheeseburger, yeah, another. he do additional cheese, then no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so it just come with the one slice, <laughs> and then he scrape it off. I couldn't work it fast. I'll be fucking niggas' orders up on purpose. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's so funny. Like I remember, I used to do that. Like it was like malicious confidence. Like I used to do that to niggas all the time. Like. Or I used to be like maliciously incompetent, where I was like, all right, yo, you want to talk crazy? You want to talk greasy? Like, disrespect niggas? Boy, I'm going to act like I ain't never worked this job before. Nigga, I'm like act usual. This nigga's going to get four nuggets. Yeah, he's like, well, I, yo, I ordered, where's the sauce? My, oh, okay, what sauce do you want? Well, what sauce do you have? Barbecue? No, no, the worst thing, <laughs> you tell them all the sauces, let them pick, and then give them the wrong sauce on purpose. <laughs> You list every sauce. And give a nigga mustard. <laughs> you don't even give the nigga like ranch or sweet and sour sauce. You give the nigga a ketchup packet. Yeah, a ketchup packet and a mustard packet. And I'm just like, and niggas like, bro, who puts mustard on nuggets? <laughs> I, my father thought that's what you said. You said so. You say you want a ranch, and then you come back, and then I, <laughs> when I, used to, I used to like. 
Because we had sauces underneath the counter. And when niggas would ask for sauces and they would act up, I would go all the way into the back and get sauces from the break or from the from the storage room. Just because I'm it's like, bro, I got sauce way. right here. But if you want to act stupid and act like a jackass, all right, I'm going to go all the way to the back, take two minutes to come back just to give you your sauce, your little measly-ass musty ranch, which I put in your bag, but you talking about some, I only get one sauce? Bro, you got a four-piece. <laughs> yeah, how much sauce do you need for four pieces? So now I got fries and a burger, too. Okay, I'll give you two. Can I get one more sauce? Dog. Dog. Listen, I'm, I'm a connoisseur when it comes to the sauce dipping and all that, bro. You don't need more than two for what you got. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I, I, know, I know the perfect sauce to food ratio. Yeah, dog. You dipping too hard. And like when you dip, right? And you pull it out the sauce. Do it shit be dripping still? You you using too much you sauce. You eating more sauce than chicken nugget at this yeah, point. Yeah, nah, you lad, you gotta you gotta like lightly. I can't you know what stand I mean? watch a nigga dip a wing in some ranch or blue cheese and they dip the whole wing in there and pull up like yeah, half like, a dude. cup. Like, bro, you just wasting it. Like, dog, dip like 30% of it in. And then let the flavor carry through the rest. Like, what you doing? Come on, now. I usually, I'm, I don't know if I should be sharing my wing dipping technique because it's an ancient family oh, secret. Oh, please do, dog. This, so, this, like, this is like, what I do is I dip, if it's a, a leg, a drum, whatever. Yeah, if it's a drum, I'll dip one side in, you know, I'll, I'll bite that side and then I'll flip it and I'll dip the other side in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, Talk and, to him. and then I dip the bottom in and I just suck all the meat off the bone. And that's what, what, like a flat or a drumstick, you said? That's what a drumstick. With, With the drumstick, flat. I try to get it, like, you know, like, right where the drumsticks start to go from, like, like like big to small, like, where it starts to side yeah. down, I try to get it, like, right there. Usually, that's, like, 40, almost 50% of the wing. So, I try to get, like, 40% of the wing, get it right there. So, that way, when you get that first bite and you get most mm. of the... Yeah. With flats, I like to take, um, you know, the, the curved side that's kind of, like, at an mm-hmm. angle? Yeah. I dip that side in first. You know, you know, I'll take a bite off of that, and then I flip it over and do the back, and then I just suck all the meat straight off the bone. Yeah, usually I think I like push the meat through, and then I like like spin one of the bones so that way, like one edge is just done, so it's just the meat hanging from one edge. And See, then it just I... depend on like the quality of the wings. If they like fried super hard, you can't even yeah, you, you can't, can't even push the meat off. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta eat it the way it is, eat through the bone. I feel like a lot of places don't. They don't value a good wing anymore. They don't be. They be over. Oh, nah, they don't. Nigga, they just they cooking Tyson like wings. Shit. They just throwing some Tyson wings in there. <laughs> yeah, and then dipping them in some batter. And ah, right, here you go, man. Take this shit. Shit be burnt, be crispy. You know what's crazy? I remember a lot of people used to do that whole like flats versus drumsticks, all that shit. And I'm just like, bro, y'all are insane. It's chicken. Like, yeah, on. how do you I, even have a preference on? No, the type I, of chicken? I have a preference. I prefer drumsticks, but it's chicken. I'm going to smoke. Everything. What are you yeah. talking about? I I, like, yeah. like, and to me, like, it's a difference between, and it's funny because, like, this is, like, I've heard this is a whole conversation about a whole different thing. But somebody was saying, like, it's a difference between a preference and a requirement. Yeah. Right. Like, some of you niggas say, "Well, it's my preference," but then you'll, like, no, if you you'll say order you, all flats, yeah, like, then it's not like if you prefer uh regular water over tap water, but then won't drink tap water, it ain't a preference. You require water that ain't tap water. It's a difference. <laughs> I and used so, to be like that, and I don't know why. Eventually, I just started drinking tap water. I just said, fuck it, one day. Like, I grew up on tap water, so I had to be convinced to, to, to pay money to buy water. And I was just like, bro, y'all paying $4 for this bottle of water? No. When I, was I kid, tell you what, when you're done, a... when you're done, let me get the bottle, and I'm going to go to my sink, and I'm going to smash the water that come out my sink. <laughs> when we when I was growing up, we always had a fridge with um with one of the dispensers on it with the Ooh, filter yeah, yeah. so you ever yeah, clean that filter yeah uh don't put me on the spot probably like once uh, <laughs> you know you know um uh, i was a kid so hey look don't feel bad because nobody cleans those things like i will they tell you putting like, a brita filter on their faucet and use the same one for a year and a half for a year and a half i've known niggas who they shit blinking and it's been blinking <laughs> bro, you, you know the blinking mean it's not doing anything, right? I, I know. I feel yeah, I know. like if you I know exactly what it be, you're better off just drinking tap water because if you not if you don't change the filter, yeah, it's not just it's, like you're introducing you, more shit to it. Exactly. So it's not just like you just well, it's not filtered anymore. No, just bacteria and mold and shit growing in that, and you still drinking it. So you drinking that tetanus water, nigga? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean rusty it, water. The, the the nutty part with like all that water shit is like I was always so confused about like like really bottled water. Like, I just never understood. I'm thinking like, yo, it'd be whole pallets of water. And y'all got water at the crib. What's going on? And then the worst part was when you drink some of the bottled water, like you know, the booty tier ones. You drink like the Dasani's, you drink the the you know, the Nestle little the deer parts, you drink the garbage ones. Excuse me. Oh, and then God, you're just God. like wait. I like Nestle. Nestle is actually one of my favorites. Nestle, like the purely, the pure life or pure yeah. life, whatever. That shit whack. But it's cool. Yeah. It don't matter. Like I drank a bunch of those, and I was just like, "This shit tap what, water." What is good water to you? Uh, I like Essentia. Essentia hit crazy. Essentia. I've never like, heard of that. that my favorite water Jersey is just, water. it's like an alkaline water. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's like a stinky special. Nah, but listen, alkaline what I will tell water. you about the alkaline waters, I don't buy them for the the alkalinity. I don't. I don't. Just, it's not real. I don't buy none of that. I, and I need people to understand that that's not how alkalinity works. You can't get enough alkalinity through water to change your fucking pH. What if you drink three level? gallons a day? Then you'll probably fuck your kidneys up before anything else. Yeah, you'll die. It, I think I saw something that was like two and a half gallons within a 24-hour period. You'll Even a gallon of water is a struggle. How do you drink all of that in a day, dog? Like, that's a yeah. lot. Like I literally drink a gallon of water a day. It's not that I hard. know, but it's still a lot. Like, you got to consciously decide i'm gonna finish this gallon or what like no you know what i don't I mean? even it's not even conscious i just be thirsty <laughs> i don't even try to do it anymore it's just i'm thirsty this nigga trying to put on a show for the girl look at him trying to put on a show for the show you know I, i'm well hydrated ladies yeah a gallon a day i don't like i don't really drink anything honestly i don't drink ju- i don't drink juice i don't drink soda i pretty much only drink water and alcohol mm-hmm. that's it the only um, time i drink juice and soda is with alcohol yeah, I've been, exactly. I've been drinking a lot of, I've been eating and drinking a lot of garbage lately. Honestly, I gotta get back on my shit. It's like the past like four or five days, I've just been eating. I was BS. on a diet all the way up until your birthday, and then like since your birthday, I've just been eating garbage for the last two months. Now, months. when you say garbage, we talking like, we talking yeah. like Arby's garbage or like just eating just out and unhealthy. Day, you know? <laughs> I, well, I mean. Even when I get stuff to eat, it's not super unhealthy. It's not like I'm ordering Popeyes every day. I'm yeah, like, it's, it's, maybe I'll get like Fridays and I'll get like a steak and a steak's pretty unhealthy. Like, let's give you the bean. Yeah, no, that's why I said like I've been. That's the shit I've been eating. I haven't been eating a bunch of fried chicken and super, you know, saturated fat shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat steak and I eat a lot of sushi, a lot of carbs from the rice, and a lot of sodium from the soy sauce. Yeah, I rock with I rock with sushi. Like sushi is one of them things that like I genuinely could eat sushi every single day. Yeah, like, I, I, I would. I, there I, was I, a period where day. I was I was getting sushi like three days a week. Like I could I eat sushi like in Mexican every day and then just swap something else out. Like and just figure out what breakfast is or figure out what lunch is, figure out what dinner. Like yeah. that's it. I'm good. Like I can eat. I can get huevos rancheros or some shit for breakfast. Figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch, and then eat some sushi. Hella sushi for dinner. I'll be good. I can eat. I can eat pasta every day. Any type of pasta. Oh yeah, I grew up in an Italian household, so, so Cajun, we we pasta fiends, nigga. Like some Cajun pasta. tortellini. You know what I mean? Some farfalle. You know what I mean? Some linguini. Yeah, yeah linguini, linguini, linguini. A little linguini, man. <laughs> I've been eating a lot. Um, I've been ordering red lobster lately because. Before recently, I haven't had Red Lobster in like six years. I guess they just opened one up by me. But I've been eating mm-hmm. a lot of Red Lobster lately, and they got this like lobster and crab linguine. And oh yeah, I know that shit crap. That shit is. It's probably imitation crab meat, but it's still that imitation crab meat be smacking, dog. I don't. What's really in it? Is it just fish? I think. I thought it was it's... just fish. Wait, why would it be imitation if it's fish? I thought it was like some type of like tofu. No, no, no. When I said imitation, I meant like. They sell it and brand it as crab meat, and they like put the colors on it. But like, it's it would be cheaper to not have actual crab, so they use like some fish or something. I never knew that this whole time. I thought imitation crab meat was. I thought imitation meant that it wasn't like, you yeah, know, fish see. byproduct. I thought it was like uh, yeah, imitation crab is made from surimi, uh, fish flesh that has been deboned, oh, washed to remove fat and unwanted bits, then minced into a paste. That's actually it's... pretty good. Yeah, so it's basically fish. Yeah. Okay. Minced that's fish why flesh. That's why often, I often Pollock. Yeah, okay. Often Pollock, okay. Yeah, Pollock so be hitting. 
essentially just water, starch, like a wheat starch or something like that, an egg white protein, sugar a little bit, and some salt. All right, yeah, I'm with it. Now I want some imitation crab meat. Now, it, I remember we used to have imitation crab meat as a kid because we used to do that a lot. Like the Alfredo, we'd have the imitation crab meat um, mixed in with. What did we have once? Yeah, I think we had like imitation crab meat, the Alfredo. I don't remember. But that shit. Them joints used to hit so crazy. I made like a spicy seafood pasta like a couple weeks ago. I put it on Instagram. It had imitation crab meat, mm. uh, muscle meat, mm. oyster meat, clam meat, scallops, yo, yo, and listen, shrimp. Yo, listen, you, you really trying, what you trying to do to me, yo? That shit, when I tell you. That shit was so spicy, I had to take my time eating it because, like, I couldn't do multiple bites at a time. I had what sauce to... do you have, Alfredo? I made my own sauce. I just oh, okay. uh, like what type was it? Like what? Uh, what you doing, basically, it was garlic, chili flakes, a uh, little bit of tomato paste, some heavy whipping cream, and some oh, Parmesan cheese, and uh, cayenne pepper, chili powder. Oh, yeah, and yeah, the water, them. some water from the noodles. See, I don't be like when I when they be adding a spice to certain stuff. Like I do not be going that hard. Like I know niggas will do cayenne, they'll do the chili flakes, they'll do hot sauce, they'll do like yeah. something. That I'm like, dog, I can no. I will do one layer, and I know when I cook it, it's it's gonna dilute it a little. So I'll go hard, and that's it. No, I like be, I want my shit black pepper. I be wanting my powder, to have like flakes. you know that one where your mouth like like you take the bite and it get hot for a second and then it go away like I'm looking for that like nah my shit be so hot that like you literally it takes me about an hour to eat because I just gotta every bite I gotta drink some water and I just gotta sit there and let my mouth cool off before I take another one I mean I be you know what? that's good though you are gonna be full off of that I tell you that much yeah I be uh, my chicken whenever I make fried chicken um when uh when you oil the chicken and season it. I oil it and put Tabasco on it, Sick, and then I let it marinate for a little bit. Then I season it, mm. and then I do the flour, the egg, and then that the. Gotta be water. crazy. So it's the meat that's hot instead of the. The flour. Not, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the meat hot instead of the the breading on it. Yeah. Yeah. I. Right. I'd be a chef if I um, if I had any sort of care in my meals. Yeah, like, my food somebody... be fucking delicious. This shit be yeah. amazing, but sometimes it just don't look that good. Like the presentation, the presentation and the plating, plating like that. Yeah, most and of being a cook is that's, the plating. That's the other part of it. Like we're, I, I think people feel around so much of this shit that we go through and live in is art, dog. Like a lot of it is art. Like when you really look at like how niggas plate food, it's art. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's like because you can take, like you said, you can take some of the best, most delicious shit you ever seen in your life, and if you plate it wrong, nobody buying it. Yeah, nobody. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will just look at it on the menu, like, bro, why is this? What is this weird slot? And then you read the ingredients, like, oh wait, hold up, that shit sound rocking. But 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 in the picture, it looked like a it looked like a bowl of dog food. Like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying, like you look, and then meanwhile you take a bite. Oh, this stew smashing, dog. Oh my goodness, with the breadcrumbs mixed in. Oh no, you put breadcrumbs in the stew. I ain't even know you could do it. But I was telling somebody the other day, like, I feel like chefs are the most important professional earth they're the most important people that we've we've ever had in our lives and i feel like chefs don't get enough credit for how pivotal i wouldn't say the most important they're definitely up there i would say most important probably the 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 people that are getting the food the immigrants that are Mm. literally harvesting the food still gonna go with no this guy cooking it up sorry don't know that guy's very important shout out to the shout out to the harvesters and so on and so forth uh, we 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 wouldn't be here without you, of course. But yeah, uh, we, we also wouldn't be here without the chef either. What do you mean? Because the chef, somebody got to make it. I think I can make it. Yeah, I know, but then I'd be chefing. That's my point. Oh, so we're oh, it's we one are of those, all chefs. We are the human <laughs> collective is the most important. We are all one race, the chef race, <laughs> the chef race. Man, obviously, like it looks like it takes so much into like starting a food truck or a restaurant that's why i'd be seeing people I'm like you you really gotta like this shit if you're trying to save up money to get a food truck or oh, yeah. open a restaurant like that's so much work to be putting in 
especially really gotta especially be. food trucks because like there's so much like licensing and zoning shit and like and that's yeah. stuff that like again a lot of niggas just won't you just won't assume that that's what you need to do like you'll just be like oh well no nah, i'm gonna do this, 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 this and then it's like oh hey guess what you did all that and can't park here because you don't mm-hmm. have a permit and you can't get one now you're fucked for the day and the only other places you can park there's trucks there and they're willing to fight over those spots literally <laughs> They like, park there every day. They've been there. You yeah. knew on the turf. Like I said, bro, I've been here eight months. I'm going to tell you right now, that spot you in right now, that's Tony's spot. He's going to be here in 15 minutes. You might want to get the fuck out of here before you he get here. If you hear, when he here, he will beat your ass and I will help because that's my boy, Tony. He said, I'm, I'm going to tell you just like this. Tony, he like to fight niggas. Me, I like to be diplomatic. Tony don't like to do all of that talking and mm-mm. he gets straight to it. He said, yo, my man, it's my spot. You need to move. And if it's back talk, he goes straight to fighting. If it's back talk. Not even a second of hesitation. Yeah, now nah, you gotta immediately hit him with a oh, all right, my bad. Like my fault, OG. That need to be the first not line. even not even back talk. A moment of hesitation, you got a fist fly to your face. <laughs> he said, Yo, I need you to move out the spot. Well, I just <clears throat> <laughs> if it or was nah, like the next conversation, if it's the dot dot dot, you getting smoked. Yeah, now nah, don't let it be the dot 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 and then they disappear and come back up. Nah, nah, nope. Nope, you should have been confident in that first sentence. Don't even start typing unless you're ready to speak. Fuck with Tony. Fuck with Tony. But um, I fuck, I fuck with these fictional people that we make up. Yeah, shout out to these fictional niggas. Shout out to Tony the the brawler. The brawler. Um, that nigga class. He can be like the the. I don't know. He's gonna be the tank. <laughs> He's Winston from Overwatch. So he gonna be the tank. Then you gotta move. He holds up the takeout container and then create a shield. <laughs> All right, what else? Um, what was he talking about right before you started? Um, oh, you did uh the Chappelle thing. I don't have much on the Joe Rogan shit, but um, it's kind of like, is this not exactly what we were saying? Like, yeah. is this not it? This is not exactly what we were trying to get across to niggas. Like, dog, like this shit is all a grift. Don't. Like, you can't, these people say these things, do these things, do, 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 da, 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 and then look at how they live. Look at what they're really doing. Like, it's it's all cap. It's just niggas trying to get money. It's just niggas trying to sell yeah. idiots on some way of thinking because they know they can just parlay it into this or into that, and it, and it works. It works. It 100% I mean, A lot works. of these right-wing niggas don't even believe the dumb shit they be saying. They just... Yeah. Got a lot of them are probably just regular them. Republicans, just like the rest of these niggas. But then they're just like, you know what? If I like pretend I'm 20% nuttier than I am, my Joe bag Rogan might go the, up crazy. The biggest one for me. I, yeah. That nigga. I don't is, think Joe Rogan believes half of the garbage dumb shit he's saying. At but all I know. think Joe Rogan is also smart enough to know, you know what? So it's certain shit I could just, yeah. And plus, people fail to realize like you can be left wing, right wing, whatever. And just have terrible ideas. Like that's that's also an option. Like you can literally just be someone who you might be a decent guy. You just have terrible ideas when it comes to certain shit. And I just can't get behind like to me, that's the definition of selling your soul. I can't get behind saying shit that I don't actually believe yeah, it's, in. It's selling out. Check. Like I wouldn't even it's, necessarily say selling. It's like selling out though. It's, when it's this big, it's selling your soul. But it's like it's like, bro, you just for what? And like, especially when you're someone like Dave, that's really what bothers me the most, right? Like, it's not the fact that, like, Dave is, it's not Dave, and it's a, a D-tier comedian, you know what I'm saying, who's, like, trying to get on, and Joe Rogan shouted him out once, and now he's got a little following, so now he's got, you know what I mean? It ain't like that. Like, because I could see that. Like, imagine, like, nigga, we do this pot, right? Like, let Joe Rogan shout us out one day, and suddenly we have to deal with the influx of Joe Rogan followers. A lot of niggas are immediately going to be like, you know what, look. He gained 400 subs in a day. I think maybe, I think maybe we should, you know what I mean? Maybe we should go down and yeah, see what's up yeah. with it. Talk a little freaky or and not even necessarily. And some niggas are subtle with it, right? Like you'll see some people are real subtle with it. Like they're like, All right, I'm not going to say right wing shit. I'm just not going to say certain left wing shit. Yeah. Right. Like I'm just going to leave. Those like, are the smart ones. It's a lot of nuance yeah. that goes into that. Right. Right. Because that those are people who have to think. Right. Because you'll talk about a topic and you're like, I, I can't ignore this topic, but I also can't town, sound too much like a liberal talking about it. So I got to play both sides. I got to do the little devil's advocate to make it seem like I, I'm I'm really thinking this out for both of us. But, but then you get something then, that, like I I can tell 
how a nigga yeah, you really almost is. always can because yeah. again, especially when you see someone who's again like what are we talking about with Dave. Dave's smart enough. I know I've seen your level of intelligence through jokes, through comedic skits, through just actual comments you made. So I can see like nah, bro, you're it's not all Dave dumb. shit. Like I said this even before all the controversy. I said this like last year when he was you know making his way back to comedy. The people that he surrounded himself with. You could already tell that you know he was getting up to some funky shit. Like, cause before all this shit started, he was already hanging out with Joe Rogan. Yeah, he had known Joe Rogan for a while. He told fucking well, I mean, yeah, Joe Rogan was on the Spell Show, so he yeah he knew him. We say and, on. I know he was on episodes. He wasn't like a regular. Oh no no, he was just he was doing the Fear Factor with Tyrone Biggers. Yeah, okay. And, <laughs> but um, yeah, like if you look at the the people that he was hanging around, he was hanging around right leaning people mm-hmm. before all this shit happened. So you could already tell the way that he yeah. was going. I mean, between that, between, like I said, I keep bringing the Louis CK shit up. Cause like, that's it. That's, that's it right there. Like you just go to, it just goes to show like, it's going to be certain class of niggas that you're going to protect. Cause there's a certain bag involved or there's a certain, yeah. it's a brothership. It's like, it's like the shield when it comes to cops. You know what I mean? It's like, Oh, we all comedians. So we got to stick out for each other. You know, yeah. it's like, it's like, for example, you have like a rapper or say any musical artist who's just a horrible person and something bad, terrible happens to them. They get robbed, they get beat up, they get shot at or something. And every artist is like, damn, that could have been me. And like, don't get me wrong, to a degree they write. But I always think to myself, like, nigga, to a degree you're also wrong. The reason why it's not you is because you don't do the nasty foul shit that gets niggas to want to kill you. Now, niggas can want to kill you for any reason or want to unalive you for any reason, right? But it's like, dog, it's certain lifestyles that's going to make it, the chances are going to go up. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you rap a certain way, talk a certain way, you do this, you do that. It's like, bro, who, who who's trying to smoke with logic? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's trying to smoke Asher Roth? Like, who's trying to smoke a, 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 a Coda the Friend or some shit? Like, these who? are niggas who just rap. Again, this is a guy who just raps about, like, his own life. Like, who's smoking him? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's going to go out and, Big Sean got to go, bro. He got to go. For Big what? Sean? Yeah, what did he do? Boy, That's what one did of the he do? Positive niggas out there. What did Jonathan do? So he like put big in his name. Like he, yeah. he bigger than me or something. <laughs> nigga think he larger than life. No, you the same size as us. I'm gonna take that nigga down the peg. We about to ride right on this nigga too. <laughs> Yo, my outlaws twist this nigga. But yeah, so I mean the Dave <laughs> Joe Rogan shit is not very surprising. Um and it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, I need y'all niggas to, and this is what I keep saying. I keep saying this, like, it's the same, like, I don't know. Did you see this, this, like, fake hubbub they had with a hubbub? God. Michael Myers? Yeah, with the Michael Myers shit. Like, yeah. that's the same thing I was saying about that, where it's like, this happens so often, where people will manufacture controversy. They'll create literally. controversy that's not there. They're just, like, something. it's literally, people like to talk about a gay agenda. This is the agenda, because... I know a lot of uh, people in the gay community, and not one of them was offended by the Michael Myers shit. It's it's literally manufactured outrage. Like they're making it seem like the gay community who actually didn't give a shit. Yeah, Yeah, so they're trying to make it as a justification. Like, see, they always overreacted. So this is why we should just pay no attention. Like you know, so when the real one come, we could. It's like. And it's like, bro, it's so easy to spot because perfect example is like when Starbucks did their little, uh, did their little um, happy holidays, right? And niggas act like this was a war on Christianity. Bro, that was a fundraiser. All that was was a chance for me to get some shit off, get my retweets, get my likes, maybe make some money off of it, and keep the culture war going. And I think people fail to re- There's so many fake manufactured culture wars happening this culture that people swear exists the fabric of the that shit never is real it's never been real the fabric of the country is so diverse because there's a million trillion niggas here of a million trillion different backgrounds different thoughts different everything so it's like the th- thought that there's some cohesive moral background that gay people are somehow destroying or that immigrants are somehow destroying or women or like it's like no the women have always been here the gay people have always been here yeah Immigrants have always been here. The country was founded by Im- like. How can that also simultaneously be the reason we're so great and the problem? Like it, it don't make sense. And I so I, I, I keep. I just tell people all the time, like, please, just I'm not asking none of y'all niggas to change y'all minds. Some of y'all are just bigots. 
it's it's very simple, right? Some of y'all are just bigots, and I I don't I'm not willing to engage and do that. And that's your job to do that. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay away from you. But all I ask is even the bigots. I'm all I'm asking you niggas is to start to realize when people are using you for their own agenda. Yeah, just they're using, stop falling for it. They're using your outrage, your this, your bigotry to power their own agenda. Like they don't, and and ultimately, a lot of these people don't care about the agendas, right? Like ultimately, they're not willing to die on that sword. You know what I'm saying? Like you get a nigga like Boosie, he's willing to die for this shit. Yeah, but a lot of these other niggas, there's not. They gonna sit up here and talk about this gay agenda, gay this, da, 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 da. and as soon as push comes to shove, they gonna bitch up, freeze up, and they gonna act like I'm gonna fall in love. I want I want to keep my money. You can't say nothing to harm that community, bro. You can't say nothing to harm a lot of communities. The the clear like evidence that it's literally an agenda is the fact that they're tying it into the Dave Chappelle shit. Like mm-hmm. they're saying the Michael Myers is homophobic, and they're like, "See, Dave was Dave right. Was you can't right see now. nothing." Like they, it's little. It's clear they're just using. And the other thing that bothered me about this story was like, bro. Have y'all ever written anything, right? Or n- not forget writing. Have you ever had an assignment due right before the assignment's due and you got to come up with something? So you kind of just bullshit your way through the assignment. Do we not think that's exactly what this article was? It was a poorly written article that was, and, and, and she literally was quoting, excuse me, quoting Twitter users who had like four likes. Dog, this is not representative of how people feel. You know that. You're quoting a guy with a, you know, James 92648. You know what I mean? You quote one of these niggas with four likes on his post. And a lot, I've seen a lot of those tweets. A lot of tweets was jokes. Yeah, a lot of oh, them were probably niggas, yeah, yeah joking about it. homophobic now. This is a joke. So, but, so that's what I'm saying. But again, when you are looking for information to confirm what you already believe, you 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 lose reason, and that's that was the thing where I was like, dog, y'all telling me y'all looked at y'all spent two minutes looking at this between the article and between some of the tweets people told us online. Y'all thought this is really a thing. Like when I go to a, a tag and I see it, and it's more people complaining about people complaining than there is the actual complaints. Dog, there it, it's manufactured. Yeah, it, it's hundred percent manufactured. Dog, every tweet was, yo, y'all really mad. Because Michael Myers is home. How is he home? Oh, my goodness. Yo, man, see, look. This, dude, I'm like, dog, how is every tweet this? And not a single soul in here crying. And the only couple gay people I did see were just joking about it. Like, oh, Michael Myers is homophobic? That's crazy. And they made a joke about it or something. Because, like, they're like, dog, he's a killer in a movie. Even if he was homophobic. I mean, would that, what would that, what, what that do? That wouldn't change anything. I, I don't understand. Yeah, like what? He's, he's a I've killer. always wanted him to lose in the movies. Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I be wanting some killers to win just just because I want oh, Jason to win every screen. time. I never want Jason to win. I be wanting Freddy to win too. He's funny because if Jason wins, then it's like what? Then what? I don't want Freddy to ever win. He's he's a bum. <laughs> like, he's a piece of shit person. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a, a he's a, a bum. child unaliver. But that nigga funny. He was that nigga bum. got the quips. Welcome yeah, to nigga. prime time, bitch. Man, I could beat that nigga ass in the real world. That nigga's oh, yeah, a bum. I'll smoke that nigga. I'll stomp that nigga out. I'm like, bro, if I can smoke you in the real world, you a bum. It's really simple. It's very simple. Like, yeah, I can't do that with Mike. Dream world, can't do that with Jason. Some 13 nah. year olds. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Shit, at I least mean, Pennywise is like a, a giant spider or some shit. Like, a ain't monster. Ain't nobody afraid of that bitch ass nigga. Nah, you bugging that nigga a monster, bro. What's wrong with you? He's not really. Shit, if you, if you could shape shift into a monster. He uh, feed, what, what do I call he feed you? Feed off of fear. As long as you're not afraid, what are you gonna do? Nigga, you, that nigga you, got you, beat by a group of kids making fun of him. I understand. I under, you know how many niggas lost the kids? Cell lost the kids. I lost to a child. Okay, and that nigga still <laughs> watch me. Nigga post up on the block, say, "Yo, look, I'm gonna kind of just violate niggas until somebody decide they gonna fight me." So that. That whole shit was fucking hilarious. Nigga that's, announced to the world, yo, I'm shit. having a tournament. And he went out there and built this arena and then just stood there for weeks until niggas pulled up. <laughs> and they stood there, chill for a little bit, chill for a little bit. I feel like they're not coming fast enough. Let me start destroying their towns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you that's a sick man. Shit. Yo, how did Cell end up in hell? So, oh, you mean, um, 
I mean, he killed mad niggas. What you mean? He's not a person. He's basically an android. He was created. Oh, that's very true. That's yeah, how the that fuck that nigga end up in hell. Well, he did absorb people, so I don't know if that counts. He like absorbed their essence and slowly became a person. Uh, he was they like he sent them to hell, and he was like, "What you? Man, he got like he got forty percent of his soul. I mean, that's something, right? <laughs> he, <laughs> he got a little go a little Gohan in here, you know. So that nigga just he started off as a creation created in the lab, and just taking so many people's life force, eventually gained his own life force. And when he sentence. died. Niggas was like, that's punishable. You got enough of a soul. Get down there. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy to think about. Crazy if true. Very crazy if true. Um, shoot, what else we got? Well, I know we don't have nothing. I'm just thinking. What? We always got something. I mean, yeah, it's always something to speak on. But, Let's um... see. Let me look at the agenda. It says... uh Question mark, question mark, question mark. Read them things. Okay. So it's like a what a mystery box from COD. So like he said, okay, how it works. What? So let's talk about mystery raffles. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'm sick of uh games only being on PC. I what be game, seeing what games are only on PC. A lot of indie games, like if you look at Twitch, a lot of these games that people be playing are like, like phantasmophobia, like basically these Halloween horror. Oh, games. like phantasmophobia stuff. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. Or like this new Happy Huggy game where the big blue nigga with the teeth. I be wanting to play these games and get scared, but they only on Happy PC. Happy Huggy game. It's like a giant blue nigga with red lips, kind of racist. And like, you want to play Happy Huggy game? Oh, okay. So this is something I seen during the um uh during the literally I think I seen this yesterday actually. Uh during one of your crack sessions. During one of my crack binges. But uh <laughs> Uh did you see Ice Cube dropped out of a movie? Did you see that? Oh yeah, because he uh wouldn't get vaccinated. Yeah, so Ice Cube dropped out of a movie because he wouldn't get vaccinated. Uh and he passed up and I think was it nine milli was the role for the movie. Um and I mean, it says a couple things, right? Obviously, this says that some of these niggas don't really need that money. Um, yeah. But to me, uh, I don't know. Like, it, like I, I, on one hand, I'm like, well, at least you are literally putting your money where your mouth is. Like, you're not one of these idiots just talking and telling everybody else to do it and then not and doing then it. You back down and get yeah, it like yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, fight the power fight. It's a nine, nine. Wait, how many zeros? Oh, six zero, two comma. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that for sure. Like, so I can, on one hand, respect just the fact that you're consistent in this, but it's still just like, what are you turning this down for? I'm not even understanding what. Like, it's so hard for me at this point to really understand. Yeah, like it. At this point, I don't even know what people are against the vaccine for. It's, it's just, been so it, long I, now. I, to me, I just think at this point, it's just it's it's like kiddish, like defined. Yeah. It's just like, no, no, you you're not going to make me do it. No one can make me do it. And it's Literally. just, so, it's so odd that this is the thing that some, but I think that's part of the, the um, you know, a lot of shit that happened before this, like a lot of the ways that people have politicized all this kind of leads into that. Because think about how many people genuinely hate politics to the point to where like, nah, I don't want nothing to do with politics. I'm I'm out. I'm, I don't, I don't even want to think about presidents. I come around every four years, do my little vote and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot of people who just genuinely don't like politics. So when this was so heavily was, yeah. politicized, they automatically were like, no, 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 no. This is like a, a political thing. Me getting the vaccine is a political thing. Which, of course, it's not. But because so many idiots did all this and that, so that's how they see it. And they're just like, nah, I'm going to not get it and just stay out of it entirely. And it's just, like I said, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm past just calling niggas dumb or saying this or that. You shouldn't. I, I don't even care anymore. It's your money. You just threw nine million away. It is what it is. Like, what was even just, his reason? Like, what did he say? Is it what, we don't you? know about? Yeah, no, but like, why? It, it doesn't matter. It really don't matter because every any reason you hear, it's not going to be satisfactory. Let's be honest. It's Let's always see, dumb. Niggas shit. like to hit him with the we don't know what's in it. Right. Uh, we literally do. You can look up everything. But even if we didn't, do you know what's in the rest of the vaccines you took? Fuck the vaccines. Do you know what's in food? 
Do you know what's it? No, no. What's they on vaccines? The the ones you took to grow up and exist in all the other spaces you've been in in your life. MMR, tetanus, hepatitis, HPV, uh, flu vaccines. It, the list goes on. And some of these are mandated, my nigga. Like I yeah. get maybe everybody don't got HPV. Everybody don't have the the hepatitis one. Y'all niggas got the MMR shots. I'm willing to bet that. You had to be in school. Right. Y'all got the tetanus shots. I'm willing to bet that one. Uh, most niggas got chicken pox shots. Right. So my whole point is... It, right. So that's four or five vaccines right there. MMR is Polio. one continuous one. So, right. Polio. The list goes on. It's a whole bunch of stuff I'm leaving off, mind you. You know? But it's like, dog, I just... The part that confuses me, because I've seen a bunch of religious exemptions, too, and I keep asking, please, can anyone point me to the scripture or the text that gives this some credence? I just want to see it. There isn't one. I know there is, but it's I'm just, just upset religion. that it's people, everything people don't even... That's just not being the follow-up question asked. And I, and the crazy thing is, every time I, someone did ask the follow-up question, you just see people who are like, who cares? Well, why does it matter? Who do the, And I'm like, what do you mean? This you is just, literally the whole point of the argument. Yeah, that's what the entire the point of the argument. Exemption? Like, it's talking about why does it matter? Like, dog, you can't just give me an excuse. And basically, you're telling me, if you come up with an excuse, I should just accept any excuse you come up with. I shouldn't ask any further questions. It's just like, oh, why can't you make it to work today? Uh, uh car blew up. And I just got to hold it? I just got to eat it? I, okay. See you tomorrow. Send me a picture of the flaming wreckage. Yeah, or he's just like, damn, car blew up, blah, blah. Where was it at? And you're like, yo, my man, what you want to know all these questions for? And you're like, dog. I, that damn, was my one question. I just wanted to know what street you was on when you crashed. I just want to know if it was that same street I almost be crashing on. Like, damn, it ain't that deep. But... So that's why with this, I'm just like, bro, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I just don't, I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. But, um, and to me, my problem is, I don't care when niggas like science, uh, science, Ice Cube does what he does. It is what it is. The problem is, what happens is, then it influences people who just aren't in positions to do this. And then they end yeah. up hurting themselves and their own family. And it's just like, dog. Niggas were like, Ice Cube didn't get the vaccine. And he walked off sick. Yeah, yeah, and my job asked me to get it. I'm walking off too. And, it's and like, now dog, you broke. Do you know how hard you fought for this job? You make forty something dollar a year, dog. This it ain't that job market is ugly, nigga. Especially yeah. for a nigga who won't get the vaccine. Your limits are already slashed. Yeah, especially if they ask you, well, what what happened with your last job? What? Oh, I wasn't getting that vaccine, so niggas got me out of there. They gonna look at you like, huh? You're not working here either. You know that, right? Um, what else did I see? Um. Ice Cube kind of been like trending down for a minute. Yeah, no, nah, during the election, he, yeah, he, was he did the political some wonky stuff. shit. Yeah, he's been acting weird. Then he did all that weird anti-Semitic shit. That shit was weird. I, I, I yeah, that Jewish oh, shit really bothers me, yo. Because I, I just keep trying to get niggas to understand, like, dog, it's money is money, dog. I understand what y'all saying, right? Like, there's some historically Jewish families that have passed their money on. Yeah, yeah, I get that, get that, right? And I'm just not, but those, not even that, not even that. I'm not even getting to that point, right? Those are just the facts. Like there are, there are are many powerful and wealthy Jewish people in this country, right? And when you're a powerful and wealthy person in America, you influence things. That's just how wealthy niggas do. It's an, it's an oligarchy, yeah, right? So inherently saying that there are Jewish people with money and power who are influencing things, that's nothing's wrong with this. The problem is niggas never seem to have any sort of, uh, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for, but niggas are just, it's just like, nah, yo, these, these Jews, they control it. And it's like, dog, half of the niggas you mad at ain't Jewish. You know what I'm saying? Like half of the niggas who are directly harming you and why ain't Jewish. They just rich. Like why, some of these I was about to say, why do they always call out rich, wealthy Jewish people when there's just as many, probably more rich, yeah, rich people Catholics, that rich Christians. Yeah, like, why you, you know why how many rich Christians about... there are trying to get a Christian dominion set up on her? We've talked about this multiple times. Yeah. So it's like, dog, why the focus get... on Jewish people is always going to be the part that gets you in trouble. It's not the fact that you mention Jewish people. It's the fact that you only seem to mention the Jewish. You don't mention the, the rich Christians, the rich Catholics, the rich Muslims, hell. You know what it is? It's because Nazis were so good at presenting and packaging their ideas without alerting niggas it eventually gets watered down so far to the point that black people don't even realize they're reading or watching videos about propaganda propaganda 
and, and it's I been watered down so much. You like, you don't know, so now you're just you're you're and, anti-Semitic. And, and that's what know. I that's what I say. Like especially like and again as it relates to the Chappelle thing, that's really what I try to get niggas to understand. Like dog, so much of it isn't outright blatant. You can't be outright or blatantly anything today. Right. Like you can't be outright and super blatantly pro black because people will have a problem with that. Right. Like you can't be anything outwardly. Like you can't be full fledged. I'm 100 percent confident in myself gay and think everyone's going to they won't. There's plenty of people who won't. But then the problem is because of that, there's so much of the secret stuff, like you were saying, where it's like, I, I can't sell niggas on just outright. Nah, these are just people this, that, do, do, do. But if I start to feed them a couple real facts and just leave out all the rest of the information in the context. Like, again, if I show you there are eight rich Jewish people and they own these 22 companies because they're all billionaires. And it's like, dog, have you seen the companies that any billionaire owns? Like, look up any billionaire's company chart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll, you'll, you'll pick six or seven specific Jewish people, right? And they own, say, 20, 30 businesses. Okay, cool. Now pick seven rich Christian niggas. And they also own 30 businesses. So yeah. again, why does only one group seem to get wor- words from you? We, but again, this is the question I I try to get niggas to inspect your own shit. Just that's all I ask. That's all I ask. Like, because if my my problem is with rich folks controlling the lower, did, 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 if that's my problem, bro, the problem don't start or end with Jewish people. It don't start or end with with, with no particular group of people besides rich niggas, wealthy niggas. That's it. Yep. And, and like, especially, like, it's just a lot of the light shit. Like, perfect example is, like, it's like racism, right? You you ask any person on earth if they're racist. Who, no one will say yes. And if anybody who does say, yeah, I'm going to shake, I'm going to dap his hand. I'm going to dap that nigga. I'm going to beat his ass after, but I'm going to dap him. Because he a real That's nigga. That's kind of balls to be out. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, you racist? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't like y'all. Shit. Look, like, not at all. I go, to, I go to shake his hand like, damn, that's what's up. He said, nah, I just told you I don't like y'all. Oh, yeah, you did. All right, I'm going to you ass. But yeah, okay. Yeah, you did just say that. My fault. You really, you sticking by it. But now there's so much of, well, I'm not racist. It's just, and then insert a bunch of racism light talking points, right? I'm not racist. I just don't want to live around black people. It's not that I'm racist. It's just, I don't think black people can lead properly, right? It's not that I'm racist. Like, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. Like, because these people will be like, well, how can I be racist? I've got a bunch of black workers. Yeah, but they're only on the bottom rung of the ladder because you don't think niggas can leave. That's racism. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, it don't look the same as a guy who won't hire any niggas. It don't look the same, but y'all both racist. And so that's the problem you have with a lot of these issues where people only see the things in extremes. They're like, well, if I'm not going out here and actively calling for the death, the, the, for the D, the D word of, of someone who's transgender, then how can I be transphobic? And then it's like, okay, you just don't like the way they exist, don't want them near you, don't want them to have the same protections we do. Hmm. Now, if, if I asked a white man about black people and he said these same things and we just switched transgender to black, we could all see very easily how this man is racist, right? We could all see that, right? Like if a white guy said he didn't want to live next to you, he don't agree with how black people live their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come it's on. Clear bro. as day. It's as clear as it gets, dog. So, so you have people have to explain to me why, if it's so clear when it happens to us, why couldn't it be clear when it happens to any other group? Tell me how. Tell me why. That's all I. And if you can answer that and give me a decent, then it is what it is. But it's just that's the part where I. It just I'm like, bro, y'all not thinking. Y'all just letting niggas tell y'all and then letting niggas dictate to y'all who you like, who you don't like, what groups you rock with, and it's like you falling for the bait. And it's like, they just trying to sell you on something. Like, because I keep hearing all these people talking about gay people got this, gay people got And I'm like, what did they get? Tell me. In the last five years, legally speaking, like I'm talking about through the framework of the government, what have they gotten? They just got the ability to get married. Right. And that was under Obama. Yeah. So what did they get? They still don't got hate crime laws. We got those. Took us a little while, but we got those. So what what do they have? Legally speaking, right now, if people want to talk about the feel good shit and all of that. Yeah. OK. OK. We can say that they're getting more of that. But then think about that. You know how this goes. It's cycles, dog. Whatever group is the hot group to support for the moment, you support them, you rock out, you give them three months, six months, nine months, and then you move on to the next group. It's all about money. Same thing where when pride months roll around. Yeah, we rock with all the gay people for a month, maybe a month and a half. After that, yeah, it's chopped. Right. 
uh, let let uh, let George Floyd shit, George yeah, Floyd yeah. is murdered, right? Yeah. Oh, psh, we rocking with black people. Heavy six months. I right, take that shit down. Take that shit down. Yeah, take that shit down. Right? The Asian folks was getting beat up in public. A lot of that shit was going on. They passed the Stop Asian Hate Bill, which is a hollow ass bill anyway. But they do that, right? They do a whole bunch of everyone makes all these statements here and there, do do do. And then guess what? When the last time you heard people talking about the Asian hate? So that's the part that bothers me so much where it's like, y'all niggas live this. Every day y'all live a world where people pretend to care about y'all and then don't. And then you watch them do it to every other group. And instead of thinking, hey, let me talk to that group and like, yo, you know they just capping, right? They don't really fuck with y'all, right? Instead of you thinking me and the group got more in common, you somehow decide to take the, the, the side of the nigga who shits on you and say, well, why is he getting this little measly three months of support that I know they're going to cut off by February, and I'm not. Bruh, because it's the cycle. Just, unfortunately, I know how sick it sounds. Wait till another black man dies in the streets. They'll get back to y'all. They'll get back to y'all. Yeah, like, but that's that, but that's the reality. So it's like, why are you mad at these groups? You're mad at the wrong person. You're mad at the wrong person. And I know y'all know that, but it's just, it's easier. It's so much easier to just be mad at the people I'm already disliking. It's right? easier to be mad at the people that's on the bottom than it is to be mad at the people that's on yeah, the top. Because I could just punch down and shoot, I'm going to get support in a lot of ways. A lot of people are just like, ah, well, I mean, he's just saying what we're all thinking. I'm like, ah, no, he's saying some borderline violent shit. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. And that, um, what else did that? That did remind me of when I, I said it earlier, but they was talking about uh, people having preferences versus requirements. And I did think that was something interesting to say because a lot of people hide behind that preference shit when it comes to like dating and this and that. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of people like, but no one ever asked like, well, what, what you know, because I remember. Why do you, why do you have that preference? Like, I remember a, a, a woman really like cook my shit, like in front of people and anything. I, I felt bad. I ain't like that shit. But she was just like, okay, so like, what's your preference? And I described it like, you know, thick, curvy, doo doo doo. She's like, all right, like, you ain't mentioned skin tone. Like, do you have a preference with skin tone? And I was like, um, she's like, see how, see how long you thinking? Like, I was thinking for a while, but she was like, see how long you thinking? Like, I know what you want to say, but like, <laughs> you you also know where you at, right? So you just not gonna fully say, say it, right? She was like, but it's cool. I understand where you probably at with it. But then she was like, but think about it. Have you ever asked yourself why? I was like, um, uh, and I started thinking, I'm like, yo, I have no idea why I would like a light-skinned girl over. Yeah, like, I have no clue. No idea. And I'm thinking, like, damn, I really don't know. I mean, I, it's just something about them. I don't know. Right? But then. Society. Right. Then you think deeper, and then you start to realize it's proximity to whiteness. It's all this other shit that factors in. So it's like, bro, you can prefer anything you want. The problem is, if your preferences are rooted in harmful shit. People are going to be upset about it. And for you to pretend, well, it's just what I like. And it's like, dog, that ain't, it's not going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, bro, like, for example, there are women who don't prefer or their preference is not to sleep with bi men, right? Which it's not a preference. It's a requirement. If I find out you yep. bi, I'm going to break up with you. Like, that's not a preference, first off. That's a requirement. But, excuse me. But then it's like, okay, cool. That's your preference. It is what it is. You don't want to date bi men. If I'm a bi man, I save me the struggle. Tell me up front so I don't have to do it, right? Cool. I'm fine with that. At least you can tell me straight up. But then here's the issue. Where did that come from? What is it about buying men that you find undateable? You get what I'm saying? When you always boil it down, it's going to come back to you fuck men. It's it's just going to come back to yeah. that. There's no yeah. other logical reason. Logically speaking, what there is no other reason, right? It's, it's either going to be biphobic or it's going to be homophobic. It's the only options. It's either going to be, oh, bi people are greedy. I feel like they could do It's either greedy. going to be some stupid shit or like what? that. No, <laughs> have you heard? Yeah. Have you, I, I've, I've heard people say that. And I'm just like, dog, are you guys dumb? A cheater will cheat. Like, like you think you're under the impression that a bi person just has to go through life just resisting the urge to fuck everything walking. You sound dumb as shit. Which is crazy because it's just projection. It's projection. Y'all hoes. Y'all thoughts. And y'all know y'all fucking everything walking. So you just assume that's how niggas is living. Especially niggas who like men and women. Shit, you go into a club and want to fuck everything then. Because I know my horny ass do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, but again, I, that's always what I ask people. Like, And I'm not even asking you to change your shit overnight. Because you can come to it. Because mind you, I came to the realization like, oh shit, maybe the light skin joint is it's just proximity to whiteness. What the fuck? 
and it's not like overnight. I just oh, I like dark skinned women now. No, but it was like overnight. It really because every time I'd see her, I'm like, oh, she bad. Wait, wait. Nah, she just likes she bad or she oh, just bad. oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you see, and then you, oh, look how they. Oh, oh man, I'm waking up, yo. I'm up. I'm up. Your third okay. Eye open. I see I things now. Plan. No, you're wrong. Like it's you know, and and so that's why I always ask. I'm just like, dog. It's different between preferences and requirements, right? Like. You could prefer cheese pizza over pineapple pizza or over pepperoni. But then when you give a reason like, oh, it's just the cheese pizza on cheese is just different cheese than the pepperoni cheese. It's literally the same cheese. <laughs> okay, well, that's just my preference, which is fine. Why are you so but the reason that? for your preference is literally factually incorrect. It's not. It's the same cheese. Okay, but I'm saying it hit different for me. And so, like, that's my reality. I'm like, okay, all cool. But you said it was different cheese. It's the same cheese prepared the same way. You know what I mean? So it's like, bro, like y'all don't be hearing yourself, dog. And that's where I just like, bro, I wish, I wish critical thinking was a challenge, yeah. Someone started a TikTok critical thinking challenge. Niggas not gonna participate. I know. That's why they ain't like that critical race theory. They were like, yo, hold on, are we analyzing the past? No, 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 no. You know, Texas started um, banning books that make white students feel bad. Shit, well, algebra make me feel bad, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Y'all better ban that trick book, too. I don't want to learn that. No calculus. Y'all white folks better get to work. Yeah, if y'all banning books, if know. y'all banning books, y'all better start with calculus. If y'all don't start with calculus, I ain't hearing none of this shit. Yeah, calculus got to go. Delete that shit from the curriculum, nigga. Ain't no... Eh. No. Ooh. Calculus is like the only math class that I failed. I never failed a math class because I'm like, I'm really like that, but... um. Did you even take calculus? Yeah, I took... No, I took pre-calc. Mm. Which is mostly like trig and like intro to calculus. Yeah. But I didn't... No, I, I took that and I was just like, no, no more. I understand some calculus. I don't I don't understand how, but I took physics and I was able to pass physics with my limited knowledge of calculus, but I failed calculus. You took physics. You're a sick man. I, I feel like, like I did too. Shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like I did too, but physics is fun. I like science and shit. I like um, the universe. No, I love to like learn about certain shit, but then it's like there's certain parts of it I just don't care about. Like it's like math was fun to me. Like algebra one was fun to me. And then algebra two even was fun to me. Like some of the questions, like they'd ask you a real question, like, all right, so and so got this. It's a so and so percent increase every year, year on year. What and I'm looking up like, oh shit, this nigga getting money. Okay. All right. He started with three racks and nigga interest rate going up. Yeah, like 15k right now. That nigga made money. Like it makes sense because it's just it adds up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were literally giving me a real-life scenario. All right, so-and-so started a business. You started with 3000 6% interest first two years, 8% interest the next two years. How much he got after four years? I'm like, okay. Like, it makes sense. But then once we get to trig, bro, I don't fuck. Who cares? Parabolas? The curvature? Yeah, cur- bro, stop, bro. Get real, bro. Get real. Who cares, dog? Tell me who cares. What was sine, cosine, and tangent for? Sokotoa, that was, uh, I don't even know. I don't know. I, I have don't not used that know. a day in my adult life. Three main functions in trigonometry. What'd they do? They, um, I don't even fucking know. I don't care. <laughs> Calculation is one side of a right angled triangle divided by another side. Bro, what are we dividing triangles for? Yeah, like, what, what are we doing this for? What are we doing? What's the point of this? There is none. That's my whole point. I'm just like, bro. Meanwhile, I can't even get a tax course in high school. The system is designed. And I got to pay taxes every year. Hello? <laughs> like, hello? Nigga, I'm never going to divide this triangle in half. Never. You know what I am going to do? Pay taxes. Probably you know next what I year. don't know how to do? Pay taxes. Makes it damn. You know how to take care of a child? No? Oh, well, we getting rid of home eco anyway, so. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but, school was uh, very ass backwards. That shit is foolish. Shit is like, I see it all the time. Like, that's why it's like, I'm happy that there is like this new focus on curriculums. But the only problem is anytime there's a new focus on any of that stuff, like the idiots are going to try to commandeer it for their their own nefarious shit. purposes. Yeah. And I think like that's probably the most exhausting part of where we're at. Like there's fight and pushback on everything. Anything that's good is going to be fucking pushback on. And it's just like, this is ridiculous, dog. I can sit up here and say dumb shit and get minimal f- pushback. But then you come up here and say shit that makes sense. It's perfectly researched. There's evidence. There's data to back it up. There's experts who think the same thing. There's people in Congress who think the same thing. And you'll still be a laughing stock. You have to write people in Congress. Well, wouldn't matter because the right people are just going to lay down anyway. So, well, no, maybe I guess there just are no right people. Well, I don't know. Who cares? We just need to burn the whole system down. It's broken. It's not repairable. We need to do the B word. <laughs> What's the. We need the, the B word, word, the system. I can't even say burn? You can say burn, but you just can't say burn the system down. I mean, anytime you mention burning things down, that's an arson charge. I didn't do it yet. Conspiracy to commit arson. It's not literal arson. I'm talking about a system that's in place. I know. And there's a word for things that aren't literally happening yet. It's called conspiracy. <laughs> but it's not arson. It's not something that's literally getting burned. Nah, yo. You, 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 um, if anything, you... it's conspiracy to topple a world government. Which is treason, so. You sure you don't want the arson? <laughs> what they gonna do? Send me to Guantanamo Bay and waterboard me? I waterboarded nah, myself. Nah, even worse. We're gonna have you sit in a room with all white men and they're gonna talk about their sexual sex capades. Oh, man. Until you can't take any more. They're gonna talk about their cocks. White men, right. So I'm telling you, the fucking cans on this chick, oh, man. My <laughs> <laughs> Nigga did the art Kelly. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I think her pussy hole was so fucking. <clears throat> said this little oh, fuck yeah. pig. He just, no, please, no. please, no. yo. <laughs> he said, "I'm re- I'm ready to work for the government." <laughs> I'll become an informant. Yeah, I'm. I, I, please, just plant me somewhere, anywhere. I, I'll I'll go undercover. I'll do, I don't care what it takes. Just get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know she's my little pay pig. You know I'm I'm telling you the melons on this little whore. You just like ah! the cunt on this bitch. Yo, stop. <laughs> Yo, I when I promise you, white men are white men have the foulest, nastiest, filthiest mouth when it comes to describing sex. Like hearing white men yeah. talk about sex is like it's, it's a hate crime. It's like razor blades in your ears. That shit is a hate crime, bro. That shit should be punishable. It's but it's terrible. It should be punishable by six to eight they years. They use minimum. I feel like it's purposeful. I feel like they do it on purpose. They use the harshest words imaginable to describe this shit. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense, though, because I've done it plenty of times on Tumblr where I'm just saying shit, and I'm like, yeah, this is the one that's going to get them tight. <laughs> like, I remember I was like, yeah, talking about some some cockaroni pizza, and I was like, yeah, they're going to hate this one. They're going to hate this one. What was the other one? I was like, cooteroni and cheese. I was like, yeah, they're going to hate that. Oh, man. Then I did necaroni pizza. Necaroni pizza was a good one. Crispy coochie flakes. <laughs> or what's the one I always say that coochie crunchy? <laughs> no, what does that mean? You don't have to describe it. it. Don't it don't you don't want to know what it means? The day you find out is the day the world collapses on itself. I pray to God I never see a world where crunchy coochie is explained. Not only is it explained, it's the norm. But again, I just can't. Can't get into it. Sorry. I always think about that uh, that Von shit. That pussy dookie. <laughs> that should kill me. So wrong with the pussy. <laughs> See what's what is wrong with it? There's something wrong with it, dog. Just it. like this is Go not on the there, normal one. I, it's not really what I'm like. No, no. Nah. How you gonna tell me to see for myself? What if I get asked? It's something wrong with it. I'm gonna tell you what it is. You gotta see it for yourself. <laughs> walk, so you just... room, walk out the room. He said, Why would you do that? Why would you make me see that myself? <laughs> you made the choice. You I told you something wrong with you. You didn't have to go in there. 
Oh, quick question, right? Or not quick question. I was going to say two things. One about Chipotle, and then the other thing I was I was going to mention, the tea community. Just real quick, and then get out of here. Um, please, can we, for anyone who's listening, and I'm sure the people who are listening already know this, but can we please stop using transgender as a noun? Can we stop doing this? Can we like to like? Can we stop saying, "Oh yeah, I was talking to a transgender"? Can we oh, yeah, not do this yeah. anymore? Can we say a transgender person? Why do you even need or to the man, the, the woman, or whatever? Why can't you just say? So I was talking to Sheila the other day. I mean, I, I can understand why you drop identity points and I've done it before, not with transgender, but like I've done it. Like, yes, I'm talking to this dude, um, big ass black dude, right? And like, just out of I don't know, I don't know why. It just it seems relevant. So I'm talking <laughs> to Steve. You know Steve, right? Short, you know, right? short, short ass nigga. Super like white. Foot one. Super I'm, I'm saying white. like ultra white, like like surfboard white. Yeah, yeah right. So, surfboard but yeah, white. um, can we? Because because the way it always sounds, I'm like dog. It's like it sounds like female, a dude. transgender. It's worse than that. It's like when you say actually, I don't know, it might be the same. But so I was talking yeah. to a transgender the other day. But because I always tell people, I'm That's... like, all right, swap it out for the word black. Now, black can be a noun. To a black the other day. Yeah, but let someone say, yeah. So, talking to the, uh, you know, Chris, right? Uh, the black. Like, Chris, I, the I was black? talking to a Negro the other day. Yeah, like, bro. I, yeah, so I'm talking to this black the other day, right? <laughs> not even <laughs> like, black guy. Not even just this black. Just what? Yeah, the this color? black. Or uh, no, like no, like a black guy. Come on, like okay, so say black guy. Say black guy. I was talking to a black. Um, you know, but yeah, I was so talking that's... to you know DJ Academics the other day, that little fat nigga. <laughs> so, so I was talking to this fat right, and I <laughs> like if you did it for anything else to make any other adjective a noun, and listen to how crazy you like. Imagine describing a fat. Like, yo, so I was talking to one of the fats the other day, right, and um, <laughs> and it's just like hello. So I was speaking amongst the blacks, right? And amongst, <laughs> they were congregating like a group of apes. Uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna mention Chipotle. Um, only you because get in my tummy. No, no, only because there was a. Oh no, I can't remember who it was. Now they put Chipotle in Roblox. No, stop. No, they it did. A, it was a. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I don't I don't want to hear. There was a sports player. I can't remember what team he was on. I don't even remember what sport. Sports it was ball either, player. It was either NBA or NFL. I don't remember which one. But he ate Chipotle before a game. And he was smoked. Yeah. And I keep trying I to tell you. niggas, Chipotle, what is the, the... What is it? What's the stranglehold? Please, does Moe's and Cadoba not have similar, like 90% of the same menu? Explain this to me. Please. It's a different taste. All I understand. I get it. Taste. I get that. But it, bro, record fines. Record fines. No, never before. The Trump voice. People tell me all the time, no one gets fined like this establishment. Believe me, we, we get fined all the time. It's fines all year round. I mean, I mean, really, no one gets as fined as much as we do. You know, and I, that's a testament to our lack of food safety. We just, you know, we don't care. We don't care. You know, I, I just leave the food out overnight. I came in one day, there was a fly on it. You know what I did? I mixed the fly in. I just, I just, I just mix the fly in. Just mix them in, <laughs> like, bro. They record fines. Some Dog. people really like Chipotle, and they're willing to take the risk. And that's the part that kills me, because again, like I said, I'm not sitting up here saying in terms of Cadoba, Moe's, Chipotle, what's better. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. I don't even care. I don't care. It, it, I've had all three. I would argue it's probably. Chipotle, maybe Cadoba next, but I don't care. I would definitely say Cadoba is above most. They're yeah, all no, good. No, it's yeah, Moses a, is a the third tool. one. Moses is definitely yeah. the third one. It's just a matter of who's first, right? Like I would argue on some days it might be Cadoba for me, but like I don't care because Cadobas don't have a record fines, so I'm picking them. Like it's like dog. Like imagine you got two options, right? It's like okay, do I pick, um, you know, I'll a pick really shitty boo boo one that's gonna have me in the hospital, right? Or, or... do I? Do I pick like uh, my thing is like do I do I pick B minus at best tier food that's like gonna get the job done or do I pick B minus at best food that's gonna get the job done and destroy my kidneys like oh <laughs> I don't even like I'm like bro are we honestly saying Chipotle significantly better than Cadoba? It can't be like 
destroy your kidneys? I thought it just gave you a little bit of diarrhea. Dog, I don't want any food sickness. Are you kidding me? I don't want any of no, those. No, no, yeah, but I'm just saying. No, I won't destroy your kidney. I just, I was just saying things. It's hyperbole. 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 But, yeah, it's just ridiculous. I'm like, bro, I don't get it, bro. Y'all are, some of y'all niggas is hurting. Uh, white hurting. people love Chipotle. It ain't like, just white It's niggas. It's a lot of niggas, Listen, too. what I'm saying is some niggas, like I said before, are just willing to take the risk. Never. Never I haven't had bro. Chipotle in years. Um, every once in a while, we'll crave it because you know it's it is pretty good. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. I've had most more recently than I've had Chipotle. Thinking back, I haven't had Chipotle in years, honestly. Like maybe like two, three years. But it was just like, like don't get me wrong, I never had no like issues like that with Chipotle. It's just like, dog, I'm not. Why would you even take the risk? Yeah, I definitely have no problem with Chipotle. And to me, like it's and it'd be one thing, like it's not just the records. It's also the fact that like. If y'all getting records fines for this, that means y'all were just lack of days ago. Like y'all didn't give a fuck. Yeah, this is just like man, I don't, I don't even really care, bro. Did you cover that overnight? Who gives a fuck? Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're right. The customer not gonna fucking know. Are you gonna walk in here and see it uncovered like everything else, man? It'll be fine. I'm like, bro, the lettuce brown. Well, we don't got no more lettuce, so. Like I don't know. That shit crazy. Like I just don't get it, especially when I like. That's one thing that always bothered me, right? As, uh, like, when I worked at McDonald's, I used to hear niggas do this. Like, a nigga would come in, like, oh, my God, every time I come here, do-do-do, and I'm like, then fucking go somewhere else. I never understood the logic. Why are you coming back then? And coming back to a place that, that makes your life hell. Like, I understand, like, when it's, like, the only grocery store in your neighborhood, so you just got to deal with the racist niggas profiling you. I get it, right? But it's like, dog, it's, it, it's a Cadova four minutes from you. It's a Cordoba four, five, six, seven minutes from this Chipotle. Like, just go to the Cordoba. Why risk it? Especially when this Chipotle. Every time I order, yo, they forget something. They do this. They do that. Like, I'm like, bro, it's McDonald's. This shit not even the pinnacle, bro. Just go anywhere <laughs> else. Just go Why anywhere else. To this it's a Wendy's McDonald's. up the street. Infinitely go there. Better. Go there. I always hated how I just couldn't say it. Because I'm just no, like, bro, yeah, I, I don't just, want I you really as a like customer. my Big Macs. I'm like, okay, so guess what? Either you go get Big Macs from niggas who care about their Big Macs or deal with the bullshit we serving. Hey, shut the fuck up. Yeah, like, we ain't going to get better. Especially when I was 17. I'm like, bro, listen, we got a, we got a manager that's out here trying to holler at, at, at shorties. He's, he's, you're done for. You're done for. <laughs> you're done for, nigga. This nigga's trying Bro, to bag. never getting good service here. Ever. <laughs> I'm 17, so I don't give a fuck. This if nigga get... hollering at bitches. Yeah, and if you look, if you get bad service here, the best you're gonna get is some coupons. That's it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dog. Not because I'm hating, not because I don't give a fuck about the customer, because that's what's finna happen. So it's Just like ain't no use. Ain't no use. Like that shit used to really like niggas would like genuinely come in here and like like get on a soapbox. Like it's just I just I don't, don't understand don't how understand. you go to a restaurant that's t- staffed almost entirely by teenagers. These niggas just got out of school and they're about to work a funky ass three hour shift. Yeah, or six what, hour you're shift. You're yelling hour at day. fucking kids about an order being wrong. And most These of the are time, teenagers. It don't be the kids. Yeah, they, the you, nigga in the restaurant up. isn't packing your food, man. Yeah, I be telling people all the time, yo, the cooks. Like, look. I know I just praised chefs on a, on a previous segment. But the cooks at fast food spots are a menace to society, bro. It's always dumb niggas. It, I, it's rarely the nigga on the register that's fucked your order. I just want people to know this. I was, almost... I was watching a TikTok video the other day, and it was a nigga in McDonald's, uh, and it was like, this is what I do to niggas McChickens that are rude. And he made this perfect McChicken. He put the mayo on there, the lettuce, the cheese, and he took one nugget. And put it in the center of the patty and then wrapped it up and sealed it with a kiss and gave it to the customer. <laughs> like this nigga, that's how it be. Yeah. You know and how mad it would be if I opened a McChicken and it was a nugget there instead of a McChicken? It's not even like a bed of nuggets. It's one It's sandwich. one nugget. That's your chicken patty for the sandwich. Honestly, I would laugh my ass off if I had like a bed of nuggets. Like, niggas like, look, we ran out of the patty, so... I get. I put like seven nuggets on there. <laughs> I stacked it a little higher to make up for it, you know. So you should be good. If one fall off, you can, you know, just eat it separately. That's a good service. Yeah, I mean, sh- 
It really is. I used to go hard for niggas. Like, especially at McDonald's, I was like, dog, like, especially when they used to give us some sort of freedom or whatever. I'm like, bro, I will give food away to any of you niggas. Just be decent. Decent. That's it. I'm not even asking you niggas to be nice. Just, hey, how's it going? Can I get so-and-so? Thank you. Nigga, that's it. You give me that, I'm like, ah, yeah, I'll get you a four-piece. <laughs> I got you, bro. I just... Or some niggas like, oh, I didn't, I didn't ask for a nugget. I'm like, oh no, and I'm like, bro, you gonna really make a big deal in front of the manager, and he gonna ask me why the fuck the nugget in the bag? Like, come on, bro, be smart, use your head, nigga. Yeah, you got extra nuggets. What you complaining about? Yeah, just throw them shits out on the way out if you don't want them. Or the worst, the homeless man outside. The worst was I gave a nigga extra food once, and when I tell you this nigga, like, really was upset. He was like, yo, like, nah, I can't. I'm like not like and I I think his whole point was basically like he didn't want to bring the food food home because if he bought the food home then the kids would feel like they had to eat it or some shit and so he was just mad because he had extra food because it's like nah bro I don't want this like and I'm like yo it's not that deep my nigga like to the point that my manager was like bro how you end up giving him an extra McChicken and nuggets I'm like because they was just sitting there and he was the only nigga in the store I don't care <laughs> it was they was gonna get thrown out in two hours like why wouldn't I just throw them in his bag who gives a shit. Like, and that'd be the other thing. Like, it's so much waste at all these stores. Like, when I worked oh, yeah. at Quick Check, it was the same joint. Like, we would get rid of stuff. Like, because they do, like, pre-made salads early in the morning and shit like that. And so there were so many times where we would come in. And, like, that night, I worked the overnight. And, like, I had to throw them out when they hit, like, midnight. Which, I mean, obviously, one, that's not really how expirations work. But, you know, like, if you made it that day by midnight, if it's sitting in a chilled... No, that's not how it works. <laughs> no shit don't a sub will not expire in a day in a sealed container that's refrigerated that don't that don't even make sense no you throw it out nobody got it right but then i remember they used to throw it and we used to throw mad of them out and then i don't know how long it took me to get there but i was just i started looking like bro you know them little blue crazy niggas you used for like the crate challenge and shit mm-hmm. we would fill up like one of those at least with like subs wraps salads and i'm literally looking like each night and i'm like bro Ain't no fucking way. What we doing? Like, so I literally started, you know, it got to the point where I was like, I'm going to take two of these subs out, bring them home. Yeah. And if you get caught doing that, you get fired for stealing. Yeah. And they'll fire you for stealing. Out. Even though it's going to get thrown out. And it's just like, bro, like, it's homeless niggas that could be eating this. You know how many videos I've seen of uh, grocery stores throwing out food and they got police there guarding the thrown out food so that people can't get it? Nah, I saw it's that one. Wicked world that one was sick. That one was now. I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I, that's when we start talking that D word, um, yeah. for sure. That's when we start talking that unalive talk. Like, that's nasty, nasty. You're throwing the food out, and you got cops guarding it so no one can get into it. Yeah, like, I understand having cops there because you know it's gonna get hectic when that food get put out there. You know, like that makes sense. Like, you know how when niggas get into it. Like, it's like, all right, ready, set go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's niggas, all right, go ahead, y'all sift through ninety pounds of of food. Yeah, it's gonna get wild. I understand why police are there, but the fact that y'all stopping them niggas from getting it just to get for it to get thrown out, like come on, Wicked. bro, you could have easily been. I would look. I'd have been a nigga to smooth tell the cop. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all straight like this: y'all come three minutes before we throw it out. We'll get y'all nigga a little free sub, a little free whatever. And then when they get here, let these niggas sort through it, and they do what they do. If anybody act up, you know, be a cop, beat their ass. But other than that, we straight. I don't, I don't need you to step in and do nothing. You heard it here, folks. That's what y'all do. Advocating for police violence. Uh, that's all they do. I mean, that's I'm just I'm just saying. You just speaking factuals. I'm just speaking the factual actuals. But yeah, um, that one was nuts. But I remember there was plenty of times we did that. Like I remember that I was throwing the shit out, and I'm just like, oh, like it's a dude who said like he can come get it. And he's like, all right, well you gotta throw it out. Like you can't give it to him. I was like, okay, but if I throw it out and he comes to pick it up, I gave it to him anyway. And he's like, no, it's not how giving works. I'm like, right, that's yeah. literally how giving works. I mean, I get what you're trying to say, but I'm still giving it to him. I know he's getting it. He's like, no, but you didn't give it to him. I'm like, I'm sorry. Am I missing something here? Am I dumb or or like, or, are you just fucking with me? Like, what's going on? Like, and niggas like, well, now nah, we can't. Like, we're not do do. And I always just kept thinking to myself, like, bro, you have a printer in the office. Can't you just print some shit up saying, look, we ain't liable for this. He signs it. You signs it. No, no, that's work. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, bro, there's cameras all in this building. They would, the cameras would catch you signing this. The cameras would catch him signing this. <laughs> like, 
you have a witness. You don't even need a witness because the cameras are the witness. Hello? No? I'm missing something? Yeah. You're missing the fact where we're not in the business of feeding homeless people, nigga. And to me, like, it's just so, like, it's just nasty. Like, it's so much, like, the way people treat homeless folks in this this country is, like, shit, shit is sickening, truth be told. Like, it's so much. Excuse me. Got him. Like, it's so much that goes into it where it's just like, yo, y'all niggas is heart soulless even. Fuck heartless. Y'all niggas is soulless. Like, it's like, bro, y'all won't give shit that y'all would have thrown out anyway to somebody who homeless because it's like, well, I don't want them homeless niggas thinking this is spot to chill at or this is spot. Nigga, then say that. Tell them niggas straight up, look, bro. Get the food and move yeah, on. I'm gonna put this food out here. I'm mean, y'all get the food and don't leave shit in this parking lot. Y'all leave shit in my parking lot. Y'all keep hanging around. I ain't giving no more food out. I bet you the moment people know what the fuck it is. They want that food. Come on now. You think they can't police themselves? Like it's it's like this expectation that homeless people they're just these savages. They don't know how to follow rules. They they can't do anything. Nah, you can't talk to them like regular people, man. No, no way. And it's like it's so nasty, bro. Like, bro, you think if you tell a group of homeless people, look, I'm gonna have food for y'all niggas every night. This area has to be spick and span clean. Period. Ain't none of that shit. It can't be one container left in here if you see any of your niggas leaving something in here and i find it ain't nobody getting food so keep that in mind and i promise you they clean that shit yeah. shit they'll do your job for you i wouldn't even have to come out to the parking lot to do the parking lot no more because they'll keep it clean you know what i'm saying like because my thing is at the same time one you giving somebody some autonomy like look y'all in charge of each other y'all niggas keep this shit clean and i got food for niggas that's a job in a, in a sense you getting paid in food so I, it's just it's just nasty though. It's just nasty. Like between that, between the fact that like it costs more to keep niggas homeless than to do to put niggas in houses. But then yeah. it's like all these people who just I don't want to live next to homeless people. I don't want to come outside and see homeless people out here. I don't. Want, and it's just like yo, y'all, it's sick shit. It's sick shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, and I remember somebody even asking. He was like, well, would, would you want to live next to a bunch of homeless niggas? I'm like. Well, how would I be living? How home. would I be living next to them if I'm home? If they homeless, like just think about it. Like make make it make sense. Like are they outside? Like what? Do you, and, but even then, I'm like dog. If they had houses, I don't care what they do. I've had worse neighbors. I've had white neighbors who call police on me for anything. I've had nosy neighbors who want to see everybody coming in. The, like I, bro, I've dealt with all that. You think I can't ignore a nigga asking me for four dollars? Well, like, I, just, I just don't want them here. Yeah, and that's that's all it ever is. Like I even seen things where like niggas won't open shelters in certain areas because they like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas are just fucking evil, yo. Yeah, and the niggas like, well, you open a shelter. I'm like, bro, like, of course, willingly, like, no, I would never sign up. But yo, please open a shelter in my area. No, but like, if y'all said y'all was gonna do it, okay. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Protest? Yeah, I'm not about to go down to the city council and voice my con- yo. This no, 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 no way. Take time, nigga. Took a day off, like bro. Sick protest behavior. About homeless people. Sick He's behavior. Yo. Nigga skipped the check to make sure these homeless niggas don't got a house. That shit's sick, bro. It's sick, man. Shout out to all the homeless people, man. We got to, we got to, we got to do better for y'all. We do. And by we, I mean specifically Tyler Big Perry. Government. Specifically, Tyler Perry. He's got to step up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it, Tyler Perry? Bro? He said, "He said I can't, I, I can't get into too much detail. They're listening, but Tyler Perry, you've got to do more for the homeless. That's a sleeper code. What are you gonna get into? That's a sleeper code. I just activated four or five agents across the world. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, um." What did I see? What did I see? Unrelated. Uh, speaking of sleeper agents, did you see that thing about the uh, terror alert in uh, Northern Virginia? Did you see that? No, it's a terror alert. So there was supposed to be like this terror alert in Northern Virginia. And this, um, you ever like hear a story and it smells like bullshit the instant you hear it? Yes. This is one of those, right? So they said there was a terror alert in Northern Virginia over the, like, keep vigilance over the next 72 hours. Now that automatically struck me as weird. Like, what? 72? What, what do you mean? How are you so sure of a time span, but don't know when it's going to happen? Yeah. That, that automatically struck me as odd, but I was like, okay, let me keep reading. And then these niggas are talking about there were two individuals, blah, blah. And I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. So two niggas about to do something this weekend, 
in response to allegedly because of you know Afghan refugees and so on and so forth. So then I guess at that point you could probably tell me where the Afghan refugees frequent, which means you would know the target too, which they did. They said it was malls and shopping centers. And I'm like, bro, so explain to me how y'all got all this fucking info. And what what's the alert for? Are we it's waiting? To, that yeah, are we waiting until he do it? I don't I'm not I'm confused because y'all find a whole bunch of street niggas on the street who ain't shot and killed nobody and give them conspiracy charges. Right? So explain to me why you can't conspiracy charge this nigga to death right here. I'm, I'm confused. White guy. I'm confused. No, but allegedly it wasn't even white. Allegedly it's supposed to be ISIS sleeper cell. Right? And I'm like, bro, again, I keep asking, how do y'all have all this information but can't find these niggas or can't stop these niggas? But then... Right, so it just sounded like, but, but you know, like when a story sounds like bullshit, but you don't know why, like you don't know to what end. Like, mm-hmm. okay, this is garbage, this is bullshit, but for what? Like, what, what is this for, right? Because this was supposed allegedly, it just said authorities said an, a, an authority source didn't mention the FBI, didn't mention the uh, what's the other one? Not the CIA. CIA doesn't, doesn't really damn on this shit. Um, any I forgot any of the ones, uh, the yeah. DHS, any of the niggas who handle that, right? None oh, of them yeah. released an assessment. Right, so I'm just like, so what? The local authorities got a tip about someone locally, I guess, doing. But again, two dudes who allegedly got kicked off a bus, and then, bro, it sound like y'all sure know what the fuck about to happen. Ain't that something? But it's then, crazy. why don't y'all like, you know, stop it? But then I seen this was like through November second, I think, and then, lo and behold, uh oh, the voting begins in Virginia. On that Friday, and I'm like, oh, oh here we go. Okay, I see what's going on here. I'm like, okay, I see we we false flagging, baby. Okay, all right. I was like, oh wow, okay, that's what we doing, huh? And it just struck me as really odd because I was just like, this one's pretty obvious. You don't think? <laughs> like, you don't you don't think this one? It's no. obvious to you, but nobody in Virginia thinks it's obvious. They not, obvious. they not getting it. I, I checked the text. A couple people did. A lot of couple people did. Only problem was, it's like, I feel like the hard part about a lot of stuff is that when people do things that are this obvious, like, you then have to choose whether you basically want to be crucified for saying something that you can't physically prove. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, it's like yeah. you know, like, when trying to prove someone was lying. Like, it's like, bro, I can't ever prove you knowingly told me a mistruth unless you just text your friend, yo, you won't believe a lie I told this bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like how else can I prove you're lying? And then you could just say, well, I did. no, I, I must have had my facts wrong, I guess. Right? Like, you can always weasel your way out of that. And so to me, that's why it's so hard for people to just outright say, bro, this is a false flag. Because you can always just weasel your way out of, well, no, the, the police told me. And a source said, well, who's the source? Well, you know, to protect the source i can't so it's like i can never fully prove this is cap but nigga this is cap ain't no way in hell ain't no way i got all this information and i don't see the t- pictures of these two niggas at the very least like y'all know the two niggas who got kicked off a bus they allegedly planning this over the next three weeks at shopping malls and centers how would y'all know that was they they was talking about it on the bus no nah, that wasn't it first off if the two niggas got kicked off the bus you know they got kicked off the bus and you know the and niggas. you know the niggas. So go stop them before yeah. it And happens. think about it. How would you know the plot? They wasn't talking about it on the bus. Meaning you was listening either before or after. Dog. Tell me why you ain't go get them. Why Why you, like, to me, this, the only way I should have found out about this story should have been the picture of the two niggas and said, police have arrested. Like, that should have been yeah. how I found out about this story. Because y'all seem to got all the dominoes you need. I, I just don't see what we looking for here. But you know you can conveniently use a terror threat for your for your own good, I guess. And y'all didn't eat us, cause see what would have happened if we wasn't here. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. But it's like it's twofold. Not only is it like a boon to the cops, cause then it's like see see. But then at the same time, you stop some niggas from coming to vote too. Damn, that's two birds. Them boys dastardly, evil, sickening, deranged. Just a few words that come to mind. Just a few. Nefarious. Ne'er do wells. <laughs> Ne'er do well is such an interesting word. I guarantee you, you have no idea how to spell it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's one of those words that has like an apostrophe in the middle of it, right? 
Nah. It's yeah, one of them like, words that you're going to get so wrong, your phone not even going to be able to autocorrect to fix it. I literally had to Google it yeah, when I, I was standing it. the other day. Nair do well. I got the motherfucking apostrophe in it. N E uh, apostrophe E R do well. A person who is lazy and irresponsible. Actually, that's not bad enough, though. I looked up a different one. Maybe there's a, a French version of it. Hold on, let me see. Because I looked the shit up I to know. say it to, to you, actually. An idle or worthless person. Yikes. <laughs> so, that is how you spell it. Uh, for some reason, the word that I looked at didn't have the apostrophe. It just had ne'er do well all the way up. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel like it, that's still not strong enough to describe these niggas because it's just like a lazy nigga who good for nothing. Like, nah, that ain't, that ain't. These I niggas need, are doing nefarious activities. I need dastardly things. Scoundrel, now that's a good one. There Scoundrel. Go. Scoundrel, this swindler and fraudster. Scoundrel sounds kind of like jokey, though. It's like the guys don't always sunny are scoundrels. They get up to shenanigans and hijinks. Scoundrel doesn't sound evil enough. Oh, they got a, a wastrel. I've never heard of this word in my life. A wasteful a or good for nothing person. Damn, you just a wastrel, nigga. Damn. Okay. He said, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry, though. But damn. Um. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Do-do-do. Uh, let's see. I'm just reading the news now. New Jersey pharmaceutical executive follow home by suspect killed after winning at casino. Hate to see it. God damn. Um, Dark. Yeah, pretty wild. He was shot at his home in Plainsboro. Yeah. Um, that is. Do you think um, how many, how many times is too many times to bet on Josh Allen? Bet on him to do what? To be my quarterback in FanDuel. Um, he's not really. I mean, he's up there. I, I would probably say Lamar might be a little bit better of an option because he's a, or hell, even Jalen Hurts is weak ass. Well, I've got uh eight teams so far, and uh, you said eight teams. Let's see, I got Josh Allen as the quarterback on one, two, three out of the eight. I got Tom Brady on two, Justin Herbert on one. Uh. Shit, I had it in my head, but I think I just forgot. Oh, wow, this guy killed him over ten thousand dollars. Niggas are deranged. They're playing the Saints. Ten thousand dollars. That is wow. They followed him fifty miles. Do you know how long of a drive fifty miles is at Bro. three a.m.? Do you understand how long that takes? Also, how did that guy not know he was being followed for fifty miles? Oh, well, he might have just took like a turnpike or some shit. Yeah. Plus, I mean, you know. It was 3 a.m. He was probably, he might have been a little smacked or something. He was smacked and just excited about his winnings, ready to get home. Damn, that's fucked up. You, that's a dedicated man. Yeah, you know, Damn, that nigga's uh... sick. Um, yeah, all right, Jesus. let's see what else we got. Uh, Northern Lights could be visible in parts of the U.S. due to geomagnetic storm. That sounds dangerous, but I want to see it. I'm going to. I'm going to stop it. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to make sure that don't happen for y'all, yeah? <laughs> I was talking about the storm. Y'all can have the Northern Lights. Now, I said the agency said there's a 99% chance of a minor or greater solar radiation storm to occur. See, this is how the world is. There's been a lot of movies. With... Yeah, I don't like this. Hold on. Let the me power see. about to be out. It's about to be power a systems, place. voltage, irregularities, false alarms, uh, mm-mm. spacecraft, surface charging. That sounds... Despicably See, bad. The world, they just casually telling us the world about to end. I do remember reading something online. I was basically saying, like, look, if, if we have a, like a, a geomagnetic storm or solar radiation storm strong enough, nigga, it's a wrap. Yeah. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Because I think that even though it, wouldn't, it shouldn't be a wrap, like, theoretically, yeah, you cut everything off. There's going to be huge disruptions. And niggas should be able to live through this. But, like, people are just going to go insane because they've been yeah. waiting for a chance to go insane. They're just like, oh, society broke down just a little bit? Yeah, let me break it down further. Let me break it down further. Let me break it down even further. You're just like, damn, there's no power on our block. Yo, y'all want to share power? Okay, cool. Nigga said, I want madness. <laughs> I want madness. 
been waiting on this. I got my Mad Max bondage gear right now. Nope, I'm throwing a mount off somewhere. All right, buddy. I'm definitely breaking into niggas' houses. I'm taking what I want. That reminds me, if the world ends, I'm definitely becoming a cannibal. You keep talking about this, bro. It's like I when do. Future keep bringing up the, the the codeine and the pee, like I'm I'm getting worried, yo. <laughs> it's to the world end, yo. I'm eating what one of y'all niggas oh, listening. Oh, Iowa governor signs law granting unemployment benefits to those fired for not being vaccinated. Okay, so that's pretty fucking crazy. Now that I think about this, I think I saw that. I also saw Ron DeSantis was telling cops they got fired yeah, in other that. states to relocate yeah. to Florida and he'll pay him. So this, I don't think, is a, like, this is, okay, how do I say this? How do I word this? So I don't actually like this overall, but I think in terms of for your constituents, nigga, this is a home run. This, oh, is, yeah. this is as good as the home runs get. That's a like, grand like, slam, like nigga, appealing guys. to your base, nigga, this is as good as it gets. Like, I still think, like, okay, well, you could have just, you know, granted unemployment benefits to a lot of other niggas, but, you know, it's cool. A lot of y'all ain't spend y'all pandemic money anyway, but you know that's no trip. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's smart on his part. I'll give him that. It was a woman, but yeah, her part. I'll give her that. She Republican though, so I'm I'm finna get misogynistic. Uh, you don't have to do that, right? Mm-hmm. She Republican. She not you know it's different. I don't think you have to like disrespect. <laughs> you could just disrespect her. You don't have to disrespect women just because you're a problem. He said, yeah, but then how will they know? I... Oh, okay. I see what you're getting at. I, get, I see what you're getting at. Okay. 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 Do you? Do you really? Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, disrespect so? whoever you want. I will not step in the way of that. Good. Uh, now, when you get canceled. Let's see. Taliban says failure to recognize government can be a problem for the world. Okay. That's Pretty a ominous. threat. That's a yeah, that's absolutely a threat. But uh, let's see. Do-do-do. Is Gronk supposed to be coming back this week? He's no longer out. He's questionable now. I'm not sure. Uh, if he wouldn't... comes back, I yeah. think Tom Brady is going to throw that nigga eight touchdowns. Queen Elizabeth survived the rest. Oh, yeah, Queen Elizabeth. The nigga been saying she about to go. She is 95. I mean, like, it could happen any day now. But, um... Fucking took long enough. Yeah. She Let's has been... See. She's been around for some time. Chinese COVID outbreak developing rapidly. Yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah. All right. Nothing is up. Oh, I saw something about Turkey and TikTok. Uh, Turkey plans to deport Syrians for provocative banana eating. To oh, uh, what kind of fucking headlines is that? They are accused of inciting. Banana- <laughs> they are accused of inciting or humiliating Turkish people via TikTok clips of them eating bananas. What? What? Uh, hmm. I'm confused. It's gotta be something. Yeah, it's gotta be I'm, something I'm, gay. I'm trying my. Cause it's phallic, the banana. Uh. And you know, Turkey, uh, they're very uh, not good with that type of thing. I'm just why, the banana, the what, like that banana did that banana made them furious. Like it must mean something deeper than just. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. It was inspired by a viral video of a Turkish man complaining he could no longer afford bananas because of a false rumor that Syrian refugees were living in luxury off of taxpayers' money. And so he went on to claim that Syrian refugees could buy kilos of the fruit. Oh, okay, I get it. So basically they was just like, oh, you can't afford a little banana, little man? Huh? Huh? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, pass me that doll. Yeah, pass me that. Yeah, yeah nigga peeled it back. Mm. Boy, this banana show sure is good. Delicious. <laughs> he said, mm, mm, oh my, oh my, all the potassium? That's he said, you can you can really taste it. <laughs> Niggas are sitting there. Niggas just getting furious. He can't keep getting away with this. The banana refugee struck again. The banana refugees. 
<laughs> they struck again. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. That's wild. Uh, they were charged with inciting or humiliating the Turkish people with hatred and hostility. Yikes. Yikes, bro. Can you imagine? <laughs> Niggas is hoes. Bro, what? Niggas is hoes. Like, 100%. That's fucking hilarious. I'm like, bro, these anti cancel culture niggas be the softest niggas on earth, bro. I swear to you. Be the main ones screaming about cancel culture, and y'all the main ones canceling people. You cancel them niggas so hard, they got to get out your country. Over some bananas, doggy. That's so fucking funny. Because <laughs> so I was sitting there thinking, like, bro, it's no funny. way a banana alone is really like. That shit, like in 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 like niggas were irrationally mad, like shaking their head, angry. Like, that is like, oh man, that is hilarious. All right, well, shout out to the refugees in Syria. Uh, no, the Syrian refugees in Turkey. Um, uh, I imagine Syrian refugees probably don't have it easy anywhere. Uh, refugees in general don't fucking have it easy anywhere. Every country's a piece of shit, and they're like, oh well. Well, these guys are gonna destroy our country. You know? Meanwhile, like niggas, no, it's me. It's me. It's the guy with the suit. I'm destroying your country. <laughs> I'm, and I'm actively, doing it on purpose. I'm actively stealing from you. I'm no, I no, 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 no. It's not the refugee. It's me, guys. I'm just guys. A little trickster guy. Niggas, in the, niggas in the streets, just like it's the refugee. Yeah, he's just no, no, no. It's me. Why aren't they listening? It's me. No, look. All right, all right hold on. Say no, no, no. Bring up my Wells Fargo account. I'm gonna show them the money I got to to vote against them. Look, you see this check? They pay me that to. Oh my! They left already. Oh, they already left. They, did they? Oh, they took the pitchforks too. What? Did, oh man, come on! Yeah, but all over the world, man, people get scapegoated, and it's just all this fake culture war shit. And I just—it's amazing how we can watch it happen all over the world, happen a million different times, happen in all these circumstances, and then it happened to us, and we're still just <laughs> yeah. It's it's the immigrants. I don't think it's even like a scapegoat thing. It's I just a choice. think, I think the it's niggas a choice. that have problems with immigrants are, yeah, yeah. they're bigots, so they want to believe. Yeah, and that's what I try to tell people. Like, it's just some of the shit is just bigotry, bro. If you tell me you don't want to live around certain groups of people simply for who they are, like if you don't want to live around gay people, why? Because they gay. The nigga, that's bigotry. You have to hear yourself. <laughs> if I don't want to live around black people, and I say, well, because black people live a certain way. At some point, I'm going to show you racism. I, I There's know. racism. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, you know, the, the smell of catfish. And you just, what? <laughs> what? That's the what you started on? Catfish. Yo, bro. No <laughs> the smell of catfish. I, you know, it's just a, a staple. You know, ch ch the chitlin fumes. Uh, <laughs> traveling, fumes. traveling through the house, like, <laughs> oh my god, come on, bro! Like, it's like y'all gotta get real, man. Like, all this shit is always rooted in some form of bigotry. You have to hear yourself. Fumes, yeah. Between uh, chilling fumes, the smell of catfish, and banana refugees, we got a title somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like nuts, bro. I'm just like, bro, y'all, y'all really don't like. Critical thinking is dead, bro. I don't know when it died. Because I always think to myself, it was never really here. But there was a time where, like, it was happening. And now it's just, it's emotion. It's all emotion. There's no logic. There's no nothing. It's just, bro, if I can't make you feel anything, who gives this shit? Oh, you want to save the planet? Well, make me cry. <laughs> whoa, you, whoa, whoa, what? And you're like, bro, I can't just hit you with facts? No. Fucking care. No, the fuck care about the facts. I don't care. Oh no, coastal flooding. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not getting flooded. Fuck them niggas down he there. Said, he said, "You live on the coast." Yeah, I know, but it won't be me that gets flooded. But you live on the, and it won't be me. Like, what are you not getting about this? I'm different, bro. Come on, son. I've always been different. Hurricanes hit our neighborhood, smash everybody else, not mine. You're like, <laughs> oh, I. Y'all right. won. Y'all lost. We all lost, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we we all lost, but at least you you won the battle, and we every single one of us lost the war. But thank you for that. Um, what else? Um, 
I want to talk sports, but I, I like, I must go pee. There's no way we get any further without me doing this. Just keep a little pee bottle with you. Yeah, I'm gonna just mute my mic and you just go, and I'm gonna pee in the bottle. Why? Yeah, no, I'll be right back, buddy. The hell is he talking about? Real niggas is dedicated. We just have a piss bottle. I'm just saying. Well, you know, I'm just built differently. Speaking of sports, I need to keep putting these bets in. I need Gronk to score 11 touchdowns, minimum. Eleven teams. Okay, wait. I do one more. <laughs> Matt Ryan. The Carson Wentz. Stafford with the Cooper Cup. Oh, Leonard for that. I picked him. Big Lenny. Are you sorry? Uh, to myself. So you know, like when I go to the bathroom, like you can choose to talk, and I'll just leave it in, or you could just not say anything, and I can cut it out. No, I know, cause we cut it out last time, cause I went to the bathroom at the same time you did. So. Mm -hmm. We didn't no, we didn't cross streams, guys. Stop. Uh, I, I heard somebody in the back say it. it was it was a guy way in the back who said it. Why are you lying though? Why am I lying? No, he said we did that and he's lying. We didn't do that. No, we we did. What? No. Bro, and like when no, what? No, what is he what is he? Bro, chill. What is he talking about? I guess I'm a liar then. Bro, chill. Yo, yeah, maybe you like remembered it differently or something. I don't, I don't even know. You bugging? Like blacks. Why are you whispering into the mic sensually? Sensually, it's not a sensual. Can you do a sensual whisper? Oh yeah, no, it's like an R and B whisper. Yeah. Easily. Um, what was I gonna say about sports? Did I like there was something I felt like I wanted to say, but I don't remember. That you're actually gonna win some money this week? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. You I are gonna have, win some money. I don't have the faith. Right? I'm, you know what? I'm gonna win some money this week. Let's just say that. So that way it happens. I have to actually believe it though. That's how manifestation works, right? Oh fuck. Uh I guess. Yes. Yeah, I think you gotta actually wait. What a second! Godzilla monster spotted in colorful nebula by zombie space telescope. What a headline! What does any of that mean? Nothing. I just want to read it because, like, come on, Are you kidding me? A dead space telescope's dead. Wait, oh, dead space. Okay, I'm just like the telescope's dead. <laughs> a dead space telescope's data reveals a gas cloud that looks like the iconic sci-fi monster Godzilla, and it kind of does. Kind of cool. Interesting. The shape is a cosmic coincidence. Yeah, I bet, buddy. Did that. I yeah. shaped the stars and the gases to do that. Nah, I don't want to know what's going on. It's going to get wicked, nigga. Dog sized scorpion terrorized the seafloor. What? Floor some, you got to oh. let me finish. Terrorized the seafloor some 400 million years ago. We know about that already. Why y'all reporting on that? Who is we? You never seen like pictures of what insects look like back then? Not sea scorpion. These bitches was huge. Yeah. Nigga, just look at any arachnid or any type of stinnipede, any type of insect from that period, and it'll ruin your day. Dog sized sea scorpions. That's so funny. It's so fucking terrifying. It's not. I don't be in the water anyway, so. <laughs> That's y'all problem. Y'all. Who? Who? 
is like not me, right? I'm not a part of that. Nah, these niggas were huge, bro. Some of these niggas were two meters long from head to tail. Them niggas was taller than us. Yeah. Shit, hell no. I'm out the water with it. Probably you didn't know that already. Yeah, like that shit was terrifying. I wouldn't terrify me. Nigga like me, I'll just tell that nigga to watch his mouth. Uh, what are you looking at that on uh Twitter? Send me the picture. No, I'm just I literally just Googled it on uh You just on... Googled dog sized scorpions? Literally. Or no, I Googled uh sea scorpions and it just showed me a bunch of them. Even like them giant spiders. I'm like, I ain't gonna hold you. Them giant spiders don't scare me no more. There was a point in time where it did. Now it's just like, okay, you're a spider, but big. Like, I don't. <laughs> like, yeah, some of the big shit scares me, like, for real, for real. But like, I just, a giant spider, oh no. I just gotta throw a whole shoe at you instead of slapping you with it. Like, it's okay. I'm gonna kill you. I think uh, you are grossly misunderstanding the side. Giant spider, the shoe not gonna take it. Not gonna take that out. Now, now, when you say giant, how giant are we talking? I think bigger than the scorpions you just looked up. Oh, let me see. Giant spiders, prehistoric. Nigga, they had fucking... Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm reading Mega Arachne. Ooh, name meaning great spider. Okay, buddy. Nigga, they had giant centipedes. They were like 100 feet long. Diet carnivore. Yeah, all right. Uh, oh my god, I hate these sites with these damn fucking paywalls. I'm like, bro, let me just read about big ass spiders. It's not that deep. Oh my god. Mm, let's see. Do, do, do. The large, as a human head, this spider. Oh let me discover. God. As large as a human head. Wow. That's, uh, fucking quite terrifying. A, that's quite a spider. A shoe is still catching that nigga. I'm getting him out of here. I don't know what you do. Not that's a throw. Not, not a throw though. Yeah, throw one. Yeah, I gotta beat a him. Baseball bat. I gotta beat him. Unless it's a Timberland, you're not beating him with no like soft ass gym shoe. Yeah, you're not beating him with like the the house slippers. Nah, that ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> that is what not if gonna cut it. Junk. I will too. Fuck. That's like that's the thing that always. I'm not scared of spiders, but whenever I'm like creeping up on one about to smash, and I'm always like. What if this nigga just jump in my face right now? Only certain ones some jump. Spiders do. Yeah, but I don't know what spider jumps when I'm about to smash it. No funny, like the jumping ones, like they all look the same. Like so, if I you know, know what, what the jumping spiders look like, but I still expect every spider to jump. Not me. I just honestly, I don't even be smoking. Like if it just be the house spiders, I'm just like, all right, man. As soon as I see babies, I'll get you out of here. But other than that, I don't really care. I'm like, handle y'all business. Y'all, y'all, y'all handling the niggas that's in here not paying rent. So. It is, Look it up a uh, giant prehistoric millipede. Giant prehistoric millipede. Now, I'm not going to hold you. Millipedes and centipedes make my fucking skin crawl. I don't know why. It's the legs. It's the Largest legs. land-dwelling bug of all time. And sometimes it may have been long, more than six feet long. Yeah. One and a half feet wide. Yeah. One and a half feet wide. Nigga, yeah. How many legs do niggas have? Miller, same out. Oh, same out. Hmm. Dominated the swampy forests of North America. Damn, it was here too, huh? Yeah, they was probably <laughs> in Jersey too. No known predators. Yeah, I bet. Who who eating that? Said it had plating that was a few millimeters thick and it did not contain hard calcium carbonate. So this evidence indicates that they had few, if any, enemies that tried to catch. So look, niggas are just pussy. They would just see how big it was and oh nah, you got it. Like that nigga was soft. Yo, crack right through that nigga shell. Whole ass nigga. Yeah, all right. You get close enough to do that. If he get close, I mean, what choice do I have? We we now close. <laughs> I just don't like. You don't know how fast they are, so like, say that nigga get up on his hind legs and he taller to you, and then the nigga just go to strike immediately, and then your face go. Don't lose your face. There was also saying that uh, it looks like they ate plants. Mostly. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Mm, That's a bitch. If you this big, you gotta be a carnivore. You gotta attack other insects, some dinosaurs. 
uh, were they around during the dinosaurs? 300 million years ago? Yeah, you attack some niggas, yo. Sickening. Sickening. Imagine humans being around at the same time as these things. Oh, that's so funny. I, apparently, most no millipede has nowhere near a thousand legs. Yeah, you thought they. Had... Well, no, 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 I didn't count. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these Milla and Deca, and I thought these things meant something, it's but simple. apparently, you, uh, English is a fucking clown language. It looked like they got a million legs. Yeah, the shit looked like I. I mean, it makes sense why they just niggas like how many legs? I'm mean, shit like a thousand or something, nigga. Something crazy. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I saw that nigga slithering over here, and I said, "Nah, I got to go." It says they range between forty and four hundred. Four hundred is a crazy amount of legs, though. Like that's that's enough. Can you like you think each one like you got individual control over each joint, or it's kind of like segments? Like you just like uh, I, I can control these four. So I'm looking at pictures, and obviously there's a bunch of different millipedes. Some of these millipedes. The legs are like grouped together in twos. Mm-hmm. So like, some of them are just like the bands segment. The like... legs correspond with each segment on the millipede. So like they mm-hmm. probably control the segment and move like the little the little leggy legs. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I don't oh, mind yeah. millipedes. I don't. I don't fuck with centipedes. Uh, there's like this desert centipede in Arizona that has. One of the most powerful bites out of any insect Giant in the world. Desert centipede. Yeah, this nigga orange, bro. I know what them colors is. You from. know that shit burn. It's fiery bite. Giant desert centipede. Yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to thing. watch this white man get bit by this shit. Oh, Coyote Peterson. Yeah, I, I love how you knew it was. Everything. Yeah, that nigga just go around getting stung by the most painful insects. He got bit by a bullet ant. Oh my god. What is this that bit him? Some water, a little tiny water bug, and this shit smoked this nigga. <laughs> that nigga crying. Damn, I typed in Coyote Peterson, and the first scene that came up was Centipede Sting. I'm like, he need to see what a turtle bite hit for. Oh, he did. Nah. He literally did. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, he. Yeah. Okay, that's a bear. You ain't gonna let that shit bite you, right? <laughs> Stung by a man of war jellyfish. Anything called man of war, you you keep man that of the war. Fuck he not with even you. a man. You keep that the fuck. This shit with is you. known as the toe biter. What? A giant water bug. It's literally what it's called. What is what if one thousand hungry cockroaches see a scorpion? Is this like y'all putting a thousand cockroaches against a scorpion? Oh, hold on, show me that video. Thousand roaches versus ants. What? There's so many on here. <laughs> what Yo, are y'all doing? <laughs> oh, I'm about to follow this channel. Y'all niggas acting unusual. He said, "I, I bet who wins: fifty-two millipedes or one snake." You're like, bro, what? <laughs> what happens if a big chameleon sees 100 hungry locusts? Can a lizard eat the largest locusts. cockroaches? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this page is getting a follow off top. What is that? Wars of insects? Uh, Mad science. Oh, yeah. That's the next one I see. They got one called Wars of Insects, where niggas just a thousand cockroaches versus mantis. I'm crying. Oh. I'm about to see the show. Let me see how this man yeah, just give it up. All right, so they put the roaches in first, obviously. Oh, this is making my skin crawl. Put the mantis in. Put the mantis in. Oh, they dropped the mantis in. What they? What the dog doing? Mantis Wait, just kind of. Is cool. this real? Like, did they? This isn't like computer generated, like a what if battle. Like they really got a thousand uh, roaches. Yeah, this look like it's really the other one. Hold on, you know. I don't know if I want to see a thousand roaches. This shit is making my fucking head spin. Yeah. Like, what I'm trying it? to get to the end of it. I'm like, bro, you just like, hurry up and eat these niggas, yo. <laughs> what if 1,000 cockroaches released in large anthill? 
Angry oh, crayfish. No cockroaches angry either. crayfish versus scorpion. How do they know he angry? Did they infuriate him first? Nigga, that's angry like crayfish is always angry. They started with a regular crayfish and then they buffed him and they made him angry. Increased his stats. One thousand cockroaches versus cockroach giants. I can't look at this page for too long. It's making my skin crawl. Yeah, so it's just the roaches. I'm fine with all that other shit. Yeah, it's just the roaches. Uh, like I'm watching this scorpion and crayfish get it in right now. Yeah, I can watch that. No problem. They're not even getting it in. They kind of just like ignoring each other. Crayfish keep looking at him like, well, "What's up, scorpion?" Like, bro, I'm just here. <laughs> Real crap versus 100 hungry. Look, how do you know they hungry? Y'all <laughs> starving? They starved them. Oh, see, look, these niggas won't even fight, so these niggas put, like, a mealworm in between them, like, nah, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, get to it. <laughs> what y'all doing? And they still want, this scorpion don't want no parts of this crayfish. Oh, oh, oh. Scorpion trying to crawl up the glass to get away from this nigga. I'm crying. Big scorpion versus big Madagascar hissing cockroaches. I'm not <laughs> turning that video. I'm not about to listen to a cockroach hiss in my ears. He said, if I hear a cockroach hiss at me, it will activate my fight or flight response. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at this point, we just shooting the shit. So I'm about to end this shit. <laughs> yeah. For anybody that's here listening, um, yeah, check out War of Bugs <laughs> and Wars of Insects and Monster Bug War Season Two, Episode Seven, because apparently that's a real thing. How did we get here? Don't remember. Don't think it matters either. Yeah, it doesn't. See you later, guys.